Mortal Kombat trilogy revitalized with new moves, new stages, updated characters, new health bars, and a nice just overall aesthetic to it. Hope you're ready for a blast from the past as we're going to be checking out a wonderful Mortal Kombat game today. This is a wonderful work done by Javi Lopez, one of my favorite, favorite Mugen content creators in the space. We're going to be checking out this game from top to bottom today. Adrian, what's up, my friend? Thank you for being first on YT. Kicking us off on the show. As you come in, let me know where you're all watching from as well. Yo, what's up, Billy? Coming in first on YT or on blue, looking good. I remember the first time I played the pit bottom in Mortal Kombat trilogy as a kid. What's up, Eric? How you doing? If you grew up and you played Mortal Kombat trilogy, you know what it was like the first time playing in the pit. In the bottom of the pit. What's up, Jordan? We got Chinlock. We got La Joshua coming in from Mississippi. Good to see you, everybody. Let me turn on the chat bot so I can make sure everybody gets this link to this game. It is in our pinned comment section, which is the link that you see there. Let me make sure all the realms are looking good and smooth. Whether you're watching on blue, red, purple, green, or the other red, let me know how everything looks, yo. A big shout out to each and every one of you coming into the live show today. And let me start getting sorted here. Let me show you what we are working with. So this is Mortal Kombat Trilogy Revitalized. Ronaldo, what's up, buddy? This is a classic from history. Well, yo, Lovell, welcome in on Red. William, what's up? This has secret characters also. They're down below here. You have Mortal Kombat 2 characters and you have MK1 characters. Now, shout out to Nick Robocop. I did not know about these characters, but I never really play them. So I'm going to try one of these characters. I have to. Because I always play with the regular characters on this game. I always play with the UMK3 sprites. Welcome into the stream, Mr. James Benton. How are you feeling on this luxurious afternoon? Everything looks to be running smooth. Oh, let me know how the chat's working. Hang on, before we get this show on the road, I want to make sure chat's starting to work. I just want to see if I have chat today. Do I have chat? Yo, I got chat. Let's go, legends. Welcome into the stream. Thank you for being here with us today. Let's get into it. Rain? Rain's a good character, my friend. You want some rain? Put exclamation point play, put a space, and put your request in. Happy early Easter, everybody. Lovell, how you doing? Y'all snacking on anything out there for the day? Taki's in the very far back window. We're gonna need to... I will use some of this month's star funds to get what I need to get a camera for that back window. So, Taki's in the window in the back. Yo, Ronaldo's looking for classic Sub-Zero. We got LaJoshua looking for Rain. What's up, Kersia? So, how are you legends all doing today? This is an awesome game. Javi Lopez did really well on this. I've never played this. I've had this for years. I don't think I've ever played with the MK2 sprites. Now, you, have, you do have breakers. Oh, man, what's up, buddy? Yeah, Noah. By the way, I would like to reach out to somebody to potentially redo my overlay. If anybody knows anybody on Fiverr, if you're a designer, Lolo, what's up? You just graduated. Congratulations. What's up, Max? Inferno Scorpion, you got your traditional characters on this version. But, uh, and I think uh, Noah's Corner just rem reminds us, uh, Catalan Zamir played Katana, Melina, and Jade in MK2. What's up, William? David, what's up, buddy? I gotta kind of focus on this game. It can't get a little harder. I didn't get a chance to see it yet, James. I didn't get a chance to see SmackDown. I passed out last night. So the breakers do recharge on this. You have to watch out for that. All right, now as you're coming in, if you need me to make any audio adjustments, anything like that, let me know. Going very good. Hold on. Yay, thank you, Lovell. I already know. Happy Easter, Johnny. What's up, Chris? Where I passed out last night. Now your breaker does ooh, your breaker does recharge on this. So you have ooh, wait a minute. This cooking. Oh wait a minute! 
I should. <gasps> Please stop it. Damn, this dude's. I got him. Woo. Yo, Level, thank you very, very much for allowing me to do what I do every night. And you know what that is? Same thing we, we do, do every, every night, night Pinky. Try, try to take, take over, over the world. world. By the way, I got to ask y'all something. This is going out to Level as well. What's up, Brandon? How you doing today, Chris? Ronaldo, what's up, buddy? There you go. So in Pinky in the Brain. Yo, Lovell, thank you again for the itty bitty space kitty stars. I got a question about Pinky in the Brain for all of you legends in the chat. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Brandon, shoot me a message on the page, brother. I am terribly sorry to hear that, bro. Mark goes out to you, my guy. Steven, what's up? Right space cat there we go. Right cat face. So there is a specific line in Pinky in the Brain that I found out that I completely remember completely wrong. Is that not going to work? Might have to do the fatalities the hard way. I'm trying to think, what does Pinky or Brain say to, uh, what, what is he, I got to look it up, man. I can't remember, but there's a line where he's like, uh, he's like thinking about something, but he doesn't say the word thinking. Yeah. Yeah. If you need to, man, shoot me a message, brother. I'm sorry to hear that. I remember Danny Phantom. There was something, um, there was something in Pinky in the Brain, though, where it was a, uh, a line, pondering, pondering. What's the full line? What's up, Danny? What is the actual full line? Are you pondering the same thing I'm pondering? So he didn't say, are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. I thought, were you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Interesting. I right, message everybody back. It just takes me a minute. Hold up! I did not know there was there. Oh, thank you very much, Danny. Good afternoon. I knew that was gonna go bad. I did not know there was gonna be a pinky in the brain game on PS1 and Sega Saturn. That sounds enticing. Noah mentions that over on YouTube. This is going out to you. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, okay. I had it wrong all this time. Oh, shit, she's cooking. All right, she's bringing some heat. We're going to have to turn it up. Which this game was released? This is released. Oh, you talking about the Pinky and the Brain game? I'll have to look that up. Noah, does anybody know about the Pinky and the Brain game? Noah on YouTube says there was a Pinky and the Brain game, I guess, planned for... We got a Stars Party Challenge activated in the chat. If we hit the Stars Party Challenge, I have a special Mortal Kombat bonus download link game for you today. And we will go to our Mortal Kombat bonus game that we have lined up for the day, too. I'll check that out, Noah, and I'll see if that is... Uh, maybe there's like a beta or something out there that you can play. What's up, Chris? No, that... Damn, I messed that up. Okay, we're still hanging in there. Chris, top of the day, bottom of the morning, middle of the afternoon. Welcome into the show. Greetings and a massive hello. All right, stop with that. Michael, good afternoon. Thank you for the 500. Allison, howdy. How are you doing on this beautiful day? Oh, I didn't do it right. Well, thank you, Drew. That is absolutely tremendous. I appreciate the compliments. Flattery will get you everywhere. Allison, thank you for summoning Shang Tsung. That one two-second clip is, I think, cooler than a lot of stuff in the new Mortal Kombat movie. But this is going out to Michael. Michael, thank you very, very much. I tell you what, this is going out to you, buddy. You absolutely kick ass. Like this guy did kicking the crap out of Daniel LaRusso. And then this is going out to Allison. Thank you for the bubble cat stars. John, greetings, my friend. Welcome to the show. Massive hello. This game freeze? There we go. Ah, ah. Play Cyrax. So this is a work. We haven't done any of uh, Javi's games in a hot minute. Javi Lopez actually low-key does some of my favorite games in the Mugen. Like he's done some amazing edits out there. Noah would like to know why the 32X was discontinued in 1996. 
I don't think the 32X was a very, um, can I put this on screen? Let me see something. Round two. Fight. Yo, all right, that might work. Do you, do, how does that feel for that on-screen chat? If, if it works, we can keep it going. Joel, what's up, buddy? But then you can keep up with us been chatting on. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. What's up, Muhammad? We got Monad in here, too. Monad, I see you slide in. All right. Uh, oh. What's the matter? How you doing, my brother? Fatality. So Y'all let me know. You want the on-screen chat up there, over there like that? Then you can see what everybody's got going on across the realms. I turned it off because it kept jumping around and, uh... Round let me see something. Make it over there. So, I've had this game for probably, I'd say, five years. And I've not played any of the MK2 characters on this. Saturn was a good console, Noah. It just, um, it was hard architecture to design for the way it was created. Yo, Danny, how's everything going in the hometown today, brother? It was a battle of wits and determination. I need to update the chat bot in there somewhere. Living life home slice? Dude, he's cooking me up. Hold up. Alright, no. Big thank you again, Michael and Allison. Welcome into the show. Michael coming through with the 2300, yo. Bro, that came out of nowhere. We need to make an RKO screen. Joel, thank you. Alright, legends. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna say a huge thank you for the dunk. We need to do a VIP stream where we just make new star screens. Michael, thank you very, very much for that. That is a very con type move right there. Put this, put this crown on, good sir. And then my guy out here with the 50, Joel, thank you much. Throwing the stars at us like we're on American Gladiators. What a show that was back in the day. Muhammad, this is free to play. Now, I'm going to give you a new game from uh, Javi Lopez, too. This is a banger, and we're going to be checking out a few of Javi's games today. Uh, I was only able to find one before we started, but we can check out and do a bunch of his games today if you want, Legends. Thank you so very much for helping us hit that star party. That makes us look good to FB. And that's what, and it helps us do what we do. Pondering means... Uh, uh, well, don't make me look stupid right now. Pondering means you're thinking. You're, you're thinking about things. You're... Pondering. Yo, I'm doing great, Andy. Welcome in. So give me some votes on the on-screen chat here. So you can kind of see between the realms of uh, Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff. Kick. Allison, thank you again for the 100 stars. This is going out to you. Yo, what's up, Twig? How you doing? This is Allison pressing the uh, star button. Ooh. Who saw my cat playing uh, watching Bob Ross before we started? You like the on-screen chat? No? What's up, Raymond? There was a reason long ago I took it off, but, uh... I wonder, there, we used to have a viewer that, uh... What's up, Mr. Zombie? Alright, get those character requests in, too. Don't forget, we're gonna need character requests. Cherry got picked yesterday. What's up, Mike? How you doing, yo? Welcome to the show. Okie dokie. Hang on. Oh. Ooh, I can't wait to get these braces off. All right, Legends, we got us a cool bonus game, but there is now two Mortal Kombat games in the download section, and the second one is a special version of Mortal Kombat 2 that I'm going to be checking out for you. So, Mike, y'all really don't understand how hard this game is, too. Nightwolf, great warrior. What's up, Jukes? Turn the controller on, too. My pick is you pick. I like that. I like that. Yeah. All right, hang on a second. Where's my controller? I got far too much. I need to make a video for y'all one day where I show you everything that I have going on on my computer. You wouldn't be surprised. What's up, Hitman? Relearned OBS. Oh, yo, GG's. Hi there, fellow gamer. All the way from South Texas. You're one of me. Uh, it was awesome. I love watching Bob Ross. Dude, Michael, it was so cute. What's up, Dex? 
Is it harder to make it money? <laughs> Bro, I saw the smallest apartment up there uh, recently. It was featured. It was uh, it was a real apartment in New in New York, and it was like I think it was like small it was smaller than my bedroom, and it was uh, it was like 450 square feet or something. It was just a room. This guy's gonna cook us. He's gonna cook us. We're getting microwaved. Oh yeah, that'd be cool, man. Oh, shite. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Oh, there you go. He's doing he's doing some old school classic pro stuff. What's up, Sim? Do your move, buddy. Thank you. Yo, Chris, that's some old school combat network shock like pro level like classic MK stuff. By the way, I was kind of itching to do some online Mortal Kombat classic. Y'all want to just jump into Fight K today and play online and get absolutely cooked by some pros? We're going to get destroyed. If you want to see some online uh uh Oh, thank you, Mom. Willie, what's up? You all want to see some arcade action online today? If you do, man, give me a one in the chat. Tim, thank you for the brutal share. What up, Willie? How you doing? Muhammad, a lot of these uh, things that... Uh, is that the one where you have to share everything with the floor? Run that by me again? This is probably where we lose. This character is absolutely the... Uh, this is this is why the Dreamcast get discontinued. I don't know if it was I, it was a uh, I'll play LaShawn. Well, where you been LaShawn? I haven't seen you in a minute, man. LaShawn, yo. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll beat me up three days from Sunday. LaShawn, where you been at, yo? We haven't seen you in a minute. LaShawn used to come in every day and talk about how he was going to beat us up. It's good to see you back, though, bro. Yo, hey, man, I, I notice when some of y'all aren't here, man. I worry about some of y'all, too. I worry about everybody. A true story, man. I care about everybody that watches this channel. A thousand percent I do. And, like, if y'all ain't here sometimes, man, I, I wonder. I'm like, I hope they're all right. What's up, Luco? Yeah, the chat's working. <laughs> Sega didn't have a CD player or a DVD player in it. The Dreamcast, is that what they attribute to the downfall? Also, they didn't have a... Uh, they didn't have any security, so you could just make your own games. Yo, I know to it. A little booty and cake. There we go. A little booty and cake, Jason. Thank you very, very much. We got to pause and we got to get some booty and cake out here. The ball game entertainment. What is that? Can you send me a message about that, uh, Lashawn? Send me a message about that, Lashawn, because I'll never be able to find that in the chat. Man, this character sucks. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is own this is own program. Oh. Not today, Satan. If we die, we're gonna go to a character request. You bum. No, 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 no. There we go. I wish I remembered how to do stage fatality, but I don't. Sonic Adventure, I never been, I never finished, I never finished. I wish I could have. Um, Tim, what's up, buddy? I I thought that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I really, really, really regret not playing Sonic. Like I want to do a Sonic. Uh, it's in the link tree. It's just pinned in the comment section on Facebook. There we go. There we go. Anybody get on Combat League last night with uh, Janet Cage out there? Holy shit! Bro, there's, there's just 600%, 650 damage all over Mortal Kombat 1 right now. It's incredible. Janet is insane. Very cool character. I hope they leave her as is, and I hope they buff some of the other cameos to match her. But I doubt they're going to do that. Anybody snacking? Oh, wait a minute. Anybody snacking on any chips or anything out there? Oh my gosh. Oh. I tried to roll out of the corner. It didn't let me. That's my fault. 
Yeah, I did see that hit, man. It's actually pretty cool. What's up, Terry? Getting roasted by smoke. Just usual stuff. Damn, he's just doing all sorts of extra. No, 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 no! Damn, he got us. Okay, I got a breaker. Okay, one more, one more. Woo! A big old bag of candy, huh? Peanut butter crackers. Those are pretty good. A bag of Takis. Turkey sandwich. Yo, that sounds good. Is Fang in here with us? What's up, Fang? Fang out there helping us boost the algorithm. <laughs> Fang, this game doesn't have Luke. No, no, no. There we go. Wait. Can this be downloaded from this emulator? Uh, this is its own program. So when you download this, you need to unzip the... Uh, it's going to be a compressed file. So you need to unzip the compressed file after you unzip the compressed file. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting it to... Uh, unzip the compressed file. And then once it's extracted, then you're just going to go play that the exe file. And that's it. I keep forgetting I can't do that. This is a modern Mugen game. This is by uh, Javi Lopez. Sour cream and cheddar ruffles. Ooh. That, sounds, that sounds amazing. What's up, Chris? How you doing? So Javi Lopez did do a couple of these. Uh, he did recently an MK2. He's got some sick MK2 versions. Uh, Javi's really done a lot of great work with uh, some fan edits. Now, I got to look at the move list here. We got to check and see. Don't forget to come into the stream, drop a like, drop a share. Let the world know what we're doing over here. Terry, welcome in on purple, my friend. Wait, WrestleMania is a week away? What? Yo, what's up, Robert? Welcome in. Somebody's about to... Uh... Thank you for the big shout outs too, Terry. I appreciate that, man. I love how you shout out everybody across the realms. Robert, what's up, buddy? Getting some Easter candy, eh? I forgot to look at the, uh... We might not have more than two fatalities with her. We may very well not. I have to check. But, uh, Poma, welcome in. Robert, good to see you. What's popping? YouTube, you got this linked in the description, and it's also popping up in the link tree occasionally. Uh, Facebook, uh, let me see here. This is popping up in the chat for you, too. Uh, I like every 10 minutes or so. Old Man Shang Tsung's fantastic. It's weird how fatalities... What do y'all prefer? Fatalities or brutalities now in MK1? It's really odd that I think a lot of fatalities... I think they really kind of have been replaced by... Uh, by the... Uh, you got it, Fang! Like Liu Kang, Fang is the number one Liu, Fang is the Liu Kang fan uh, to me being Ashra fan. What's up, buddy? Mark, I'm doing well, buddy. My favorite Easter, Easter candy. Uh, while I don't think it's an Easter candy. No, it's not an Easter candy. I don't know why I equate circus peanuts to Easter. I think I just ate a lot of them as a child and I just really enjoyed them. I was gonna say circus peanuts, but I don't think that's a uh, Molina, Easter candy. Friendship. I like the brutalities can be done anytime. I wish they would extend the uh, brutality window on some fatal on some brutes in Mortal Kombat One. Like uh, you shared us on, you shared us out on the X, bro. Is that what you're saying? Well, thank you, yo. Is that what you're talking about? What's up, Robert? Good to see you. If I miss any comments across any of the realms, just copy and paste as your friend. <laughs> ah! It's interesting how... Oh, thanks, yo. Yo, I appreciate that. It's weird how, like... I was just thinking, this game's about five years old. Uh, maybe not that old. Maybe four years. But it's interesting. We're starting to, like... Mortal Kombat came out over 30 years ago. I mean, Mortal Kombat 9... Yeah, I remember Daria. Mortal Kombat 9 came out... 2011... 
Mortal Kombat X came out 2015, nine years ago. Like, it's crazy. Time is flying by. Now, question for the chat. Do you think that the next... What do you think the next game from NetherRealm Studios is going to be? Because they did say they were working on multiple projects. Uh, so, you know, NetherRealm had mentioned that they had... I have heard of that Hitman. Why have I heard of that name? What's up, Billy? Thank you for uh, thank you for the uh, sticker down there, my guy. Injustice Three. Yo, I'm trying to see Hitman. You had an extra badge on this chat. I'm trying to see what extra badge you got. Jelly beans, jelly beans. I think that'd be my default Easter. I really wanted to say the Cadbury cream egg for the Easter candy. I mean, as a kid, Cadbury cream eggs were just the ish, weren't they? I mean, if you get a Cadbury cream egg, I saw recently that's like packed with sugar, though. Y'all want Injustice 3? Or do you want another Mortal Kombat game? The interesting thing, what's up, buddy? Welcome into the stream. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I do appreciate you watching on YouTube. Welcome into Headlock Gaming. We do celebrate a new Mortal Kombat game every day. Like what you see, hit that subscribe button. You can find the link to the game in the description on YouTube. Oh, Reese's eggs. Oh, yes. Oh, the little, the little, what's good, Leo? The little chocolate eggs by Reese's, yes. Crestline, what's up, buddy? Oh, I want to, I want to see that, James. MK9, I'd like to see them. I don't, I don't want, we, we, I've seen what they did with them. Uh, how do I say it positively? Hmm. Let me word this the right way. I've seen the designs in MK1, and I think I'm good with them remastering anything from the past at this current point in time. Yeah, I'll put it that way. My guy, like everybody's like, yo, remaster this. Don't touch any of the classics. I see what y'all are doing design-wise with the current game. The current game looks like some, looks like a paintball accident. Is Rise 2 Resurrection worse than Rise of the Robots? I mean, they're both equally garbage, but um, Rise of the Robots 2 on Saturn is... Uh, the Big Hollow Chocolate Bunny Luco mentions. How many of y'all remember that as a kid? Remember getting the Big Chocolate Bunny and being disappointed it wasn't fully chocolate? Or is that just me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, we might die here. We very well may get the dead. Tommy, what's up, homie? Where you been at, bro? I ain't seen you in a hot minute. I haven't seen that in a long time. I look like, like the bad guy from the movie Hackers. Oh, I keep doing that on accident. Yeah, man, the big chocolate bunny was, yeah, I thought it was bite into it and it's hollow on the inside. Little party of dies as a nine-year-old kid, you know? You're, oh. Huh? Oh. Kingdom of Carnage, you got a badass name, by the way. Oh, Snapple. Oh. Bro, who gave you a breaker? Where'd the music go? Come on, man, just charge. Bro, you get a breaker off of everything? Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah. this dude gets a breaker off the most basic attack. Oh, really? Oh, nice, Danny. You got like, stuff. Oh, well, yo, Hitman, that's beautiful. Man, get that stuff for the mom. Nah, we ain't going out like that, kids. This dude just got his ass saved by breakers upon breakers. Oh, you can't jump back and... Oh, this is the knockback. Oh, okay. So everyone, damn, what is this weird jump back that's occurring? I can't even hit one full combo without him getting, look at how much pushback I get. Yo, Kingdom of Carnage. I'm in an ad loop over on the uh, Twitch side of things. 
I don't know how they do things, but I appreciate you watching those ad loops right. over there, Kingdom. Uh, now, we do like to have fun with the ads, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, any of the platforms. If you do get an ad, they're supposed to be related to your cell phone searches. So let me know in the chat what you get an ad for. Bro, it, the pushback is too much. I can't even escape. Look at the pushback. It's just... This con hard? No, it's Molina's MK2 sprite. I didn't know that existed on this game. So MK2 Molina has a lot of knockback. Like if you hit her, she goes Ooh! like that, falls back. So you gotta watch that. But uh, so that's something. That's the P. That's the uh, MK2 versions of the character that do that. So that's something to watch for. So as you come into the stream, let me know if Facebook's back to normal for everybody. If it's running, they've had a really rough week on the platform. Not quite sure uh, what the technical issues were, but. Let us go to the all-star leaderboard. I'll cut this ending off for you legends. Tommy, thanks for liking the stream, buddy. Aldo, Terry with a like and a share, the double support. What's up, my bro? Welcome to Facebook land. Drama queen. Yo, Michael, Allison, Lovell, Danny, Joel, Jason up there on the all-star leaderboard. Absolutely legendary stuff. Michael, the top star sender over there, looking like an absolute legend. Mike over there is a record drop. Allison liking the stream, immortalizing forever in history right there. Yeah, no, nah, MK2 sprites are a little bit, uh, yo, Ebony, thank you for the flowers. I always like these profile pictures. I miss the day that they did the endings like this, where it was just a static image with a story. Um, I'm very surprised they've never redone the Mortal Kombat 4 endings. I thought that that was, I thought we'd see that again one day, you know, but maybe we will. Now, once again, this is Mortal Kombat trilogy revitalized by Javi Lopez. Y'all play Call of Duty? Yes. I haven't had a lot of time to play anything that I like, uh, recently, but hang on. Going over to the request queue over here. Yo, we got, let's see. We got Chris. Are you in the room still? We got Cabal. We got Nightwolf. We got Cyber Smoke. We got Rain. Uh, I'm going to hit some Cabal real quick. Chris James is going out to you, my guy. Oh, I just got to find Cabal. He's behind my big head. Do some Noob Cybot. Noob Cybot's easy. Noob Cybot's an easy player on this. What's up, Jeff? I like to play the old Call of Duty, though. I like to play the old Call of Duty, which is uh, the old, old, old Call of Duty. How long have we been on? Half hour? All right, that'll work perfectly because we extended the show with a half hour with the Star Party so I can turn on the clock <clears throat> now. I'm just going to turn on our stream clock. Bop. Bop. There we go. GG's. Let's rock, Legends. Hey, thank you for the flower. I do appreciate that. I can see those sometimes. What's up, Paul? Well, the 3D era of Mortal Kombat, I hope they remaster them. The thing about the 3D era games is they're full of bugs and glitches that made them what they were. So I really don't want to see them be touched, if that makes sense, because I feel like they're going to fix the bugs in the... Um, that That's... If they leave them untouched, then okay, go for it. But if they're going to remaster the 3D era games, they need to leave all the broken mechanics in them. Because otherwise, uh, it would take the core of, of the gameplay out, if that makes sense. There we go. Some of the, I was going to say, some of these characters you have to do the uppercut normally. Some of these characters you have to do... Fatality. You have to do the input for the stage fatality. You don't really know until you do it, so just figure it out. Yeah. We're back in the pit again? Huh? This is an older project, so this is, does play a little bit different than other Mugens that you're used to. There we go. You gonna throw his hat? No. Now, also, don't forget, these are online playable. If you want to play these online, you need a program called Parsec. Now, Parsec is free to play. Look for Reptile. That's a good one. We may be back at the character select screen any moment, ladies and gentlemen. 
The AI is a little bit different. Woo. Sir, that's a bad spot to be in. I gotta get out of here. We're dead. You have Sonya also. Sonya might come in as a uh, character. Mortal Kombat 1. I'm curious the life cycle that we're going to have on Mortal Kombat 1 because they saw... <clears throat> I gear, I don't know, but... Uh, all right, Michael, we got to go with some Reptile real quick. We got to get it. I'm about to cook this dude. We don't know the monetary success of Mortal Kombat Mobile, but I will take a guess that Mortal Kombat Mobile probably made them and continues to make them buckets of money. And so they may go a route where they support Mortal Kombat 1 for a very extended time which is kind of my fear I like having a new Mortal Kombat game every like two to four years you know because it's a whole new game it's not just damn it's a whole new game it's a whole new fighting engine that kind of thing like I like that we don't get stuck on the same fighting engine for like you know 10 years that kind of thing Mortal Kombat Mobile has been out for like eight years but um, they could start adding, like, you know, characters from... They could make that roster however large they want to. Is what I'm getting at, pretty much. What's up, Andon? I'm doing well. I'm glad Michael just requested this character right here, a reptile. Because we were getting smoked. So you do have to do the fatalities the hard way, it looks like. Now, Reptile, the very first appearance of Reptile. We did do Reptile's Tower the other day. Not a lot of people even remember. The very first appearance of Reptile, he did not even have the name Reptile in the health bar. He did not have his Force Ball. He didn't have Acid Powers. He was actually a clone. He was a green version of Scorpion and Sub-Zero mixed. They went with Build Your Own Character in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Terry, I think a long time ago, you won a tower for me to do a view of a creative character. If you want to send me a picture, Terry, uh, I never got a chance to do that. I did one for level, and I want to do that again. If you ever want me to make you in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, I can do so. That's why I say Mortal Kombat Armageddon was the last deception. Man, this guy's cracked. Deception was the last game that gave us a true Mortal Kombat roster. After Mortal Kombat Deception, October 4th, 2004, every game after that was a... Uh... Lindsay, thank you for the flowers! After Mortal Kombat Deception's release, October 4th, 2004, in the franchise... Is this gonna work? Then after that, we got Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which had create a fighter. So you could go on and you could be fighting Howard the Duck or Batman or Goku or whatever. And then uh, you had um, Fang. Fang. Deadly Alliance was the, uh, that's the 3D tournament standard for the, uh, the, that, the Deadly Alliance had a lot of, that was a, that was a very mechanical game for the 3D era. Um, I didn't personally enjoy, I was very bitter at Deadly Alliance. I really, truly was. I didn't give it a chance. And I think that to this day, I still have a little bit of like, I don't want to say, it's not resentment. I just... I was very, very bitter at that game when it came out. I already didn't like Mortal Kombat 4. There was a descending disdain I had at the time for the direction of the franchise. Well, what the pancakes? Starting with Mortal Kombat 3, where I was, we came off Mortal Kombat 2. And Mortal Kombat 2 was like dark and gritty and it had like the health bars that looked sick. And we got to Mortal Kombat 3. Not ultimate, just three. And there was no ninjas. You're fighting in the street. It was like, yeah. This is actually a very tough fight with Rain. He's one of the hardcores on this game. But then, then, then we got Mortal Kombat 4, which wasn't digitized actors. And then I saw we were going full 3D and I felt like my beloved franchise was moving away from what I liked and loved. 
And also, there was no way to play with real people. And that's what got me back into the franchise, was Deception was online. The game that followed it. What's up, house? Jeez, this guy's tough. I might end up having to chip damage him. Oh. My fault. Got him. Let's go. Now, you might be wondering why they're floating in the background. That is because this is literally Outworld. And Outworld is a strange place. Lots of weird things will occur. You have all sorts of people floating in the background. It's probably just a bug, but that's what I say. Yeah, Rain's an incredible fighter. He's uh, been practicing quite a lot. Well, Marvin, Terrence, Gavin, House, welcome in. Yo, Sonic, what's up, buddy? There we go. We all float down here. That's a little salty. I never saw the second It movie. Felt kind of robbed on that because the It movie was broken up into two parts. Man, oh, that's Ermacker. Ermacker put together Ultimate Mortal Kombat Deception. That's an incredible. Uh... Oh, nice, Chris. Man, I'm tell I was saying earlier, man, I'm kind of itching. We're gonna be take we hit that star party earlier. We gotta take a look at Hobby's second uh, other game today, which is in our comments in uh, in the link tree. A second game by Javi Lopez, which I can't wait to check out. But I really kind of wanted to check out Mortal Kombat Online on uh, arcade, man. I think that'd be fire. No. Oh. The second, the second, which. What are y'all expecting for the Mortal Kombat movie? You gonna go through Fightcade? Yeah, I was gonna pump up Fightcade. Pump up Fightcade? Stop. I think this is, uh, yeah, there it goes. Fatality. Hornbuckle and Blaze just floating up there. Yo, Chris, man, I'm telling you, like, I really love the cabinet, man. That is, uh, the cabinet is fantastic because when you play on the cabinet, you don't have to worry about somebody else's computer not being up to spec. Like, I noticed it when I played Mortal Kombat on one on PC. Like, my laptop absolutely sucks to run the game, but I can jump online. Dang. Uh, Ichiko Suave was gonna help me get set up. Hold on, hold on, duck. Too bad there's not sharks in the world. Might be. Why was Cyrax low tier in Deadly Alliance? I was not a very big Deadly Alliance player. I know competitively Deadly Alliance is your game in the 3D space. There is a lot of competitive tech in that game. You can look up some very high level matches on YouTube between MK Rio. Mike Metroid. Um, I used to watch a lot of that stuff. There's some great video. Oh, how do you do that? There's an easy way to do friendships, apparently. Yo, Fang, the itty bitty kitty is over in the very back window. Yo, thank you for those flowers. Who is throwing those flowers at me? Oh, let me go through this chat. Thank you for the flowers. I appreciate it. P &D. I think I I think I might have played one of um I think I played Ketchup or Mustard or one of their fans in Combat League the other night. Um and I didn't realize their gamer tag at first. Well the, the plan tag, because it wasn't wasn't the usual plan tag, but it was their four letters. Um it was P K M N or P K M N trainer boy or something like that allison thank you very much for the 50 stars what's the saddest moment of my life day deadly alliance came out this is going out to allison thank you for braiding up the stream today with those 50 stars <laughs> remember mk8 yeah absolutely i remember mk8 
Do y'all think the next Mortal Kombat game will be called a Mortal Kombat number, or do you think it will be called, um... I don't think about that. What is the saddest day of my life? I don't know. Hmm. Man, Noob Sidebox bringing some pressure. MKA. So, yeah, the next game, do you think it's going to be called Mortal Kombat 2? Or I hope not, man. Fatality. I really hope not. How terrible would it be if they renamed it Mortal Kombat 2 and we had two Mortal Kombat 2s out there? Because it's already bad enough that we have literally two Mortal Kombat 1s now that when you Google it... Stop, stop, stop. When you Google it, it's crazy. Like, it's hard to find box art, stuff like that. Oh, Chris! Yo, smoke on this goes bonkers. All right, hold on. Chris, sorry I got devastated with the... No, I love Mortal Kombat 2. I don't want to see them remake another Mortal Kombat 2 game because then kids will go Googling Mortal Kombat 2 and they'll find this modern-day Mortal Kombat 2 and not the absolute gem of Mortal Kombat 2 that we had back in the day. Mortal Kombat Dragon Quest? There was rumors that, uh... Easy. Okay, 12. I, there's a possibility that they just throw this whole cannon in the trash. Because keep in mind, we, we got both timelines now. So anything can happen. Who's going crazy? Now that we have all timelines, the thing is, is which timeline they're going to go with? I guess they got to stick with this rebuilt timeline, right? So we just got General Shao with horns for the rest of the time. Like General Shao in the game. Yo, they re I think the tag tag assist was apparently what the game was planned to be, or tag, and then it uh, they didn't have time. Thank God. I'm gonna turn invisible. There we go. Ah! Yo, we're up to 130 racks already. <clears throat> uh mkx on the xbox you can get it uh you can go you still gotta pay like 20 bucks to unlock the whole crypt mkx is sick though man it's really really fun i regret not missing i regret missing that game My issue with the timeline stuff is that there's no consequences for anything anymore. Like, you can kill... Like, in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Liu Kang gets his neck snapped, and that was a huge deal at the time, because Liu Kang got his neck snapped, and we knew that was the only Liu Kang. Like, our, our champion is dead. But now we got, like, a hundred timelines, so you can snap Liu Kang's neck, and, like, eight portals can open up, and, you know, Liu Kang from eight different dimensions can walk out, you know? That, that, and I mean, I get it, it's intentional. They did that on purpose, but, uh, you see what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just not consequential anymore if these characters, yo, let's go. Hey, crowned. Oh, okay. Good to see you. The woodland. Friendship. Dark Raiden is next season's invasion boss, Joseph. And if you are curious what next season's invasion boss looks like, we actually went back and played Dark Raiden in uh, Mortal Kombat's offline video the other day. Well, thank you, David. Uh, I, I'm trying to keep the stream positive so we can uh, not... F I mean, uh, my heart goes out to y'all, but we don't need to be... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try to keep, it, keep the energy uh, a little positive in here. You know what I mean? Enjoy zombie Liu Kang. Yo, absolutely. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks is an amazing game, but it's a... Uh, it did not sell well. And I think at the end of the day, that's going to probably be why we don't get a remaster or we don't get a... Uh, Like, if we don't get a remaster, or we don't get, like, I could showcase, like, when we do... Oh, no, wait, what? No, 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 not yet, Luco. Not yet. No! Ah! 
I'm not, a, I'm not completely sold on Shao Kahn just yet. I'm not 100% sure if we're not going to be getting... Well, hear me out. This is what I would do, at least. I would have, in the next game, I would have General Shao get... In his ascension, like, General Shao, I think, is going to overthrow somebody and become Khan. So, Pentagon, what's up, buddy? I think that what I would do is I would have General Shao get into some skerfuffle in the overthrowings of the, uh, the current leader of Outworld or whatever, and perhaps he's imprisoned or they do something to General Shao where they dehorn him as a way to like humiliate him or something cut his horns off and then maybe maybe that's how we get Shao Kahn maybe that's Shao Kahn's origin story is that's why he's so you know aggressive maybe they take the one thing like his horns from him or something maybe that's a symbol of power or something to him you know you know horny I don't know yo yo remember the little book and hey, do we have anybody in here that used to sell move lists on uh, Mortal Kombat the old school move list that you take to school and sell to people for 50 cents. That was quality back in the day. Also, Mortal Kombat 3 was cool. I wouldn't mind seeing that remastered with maybe a cool health bar. Like this right here. Like these health bars are... MK2, MK3 health bars, I felt, were very uh, plain. Felt like they just kind of put it together, you know? They're just like, here you go. What's up, Cruz? for Noah. Welcome into the show. Bruce, how you doing, bro? Don't forget, what's up, Rash? We gotta take out and check out. We're gonna be doing a second one. We're doing a special version of Mortal Kombat 2 today as well. So hang out with us. Am I ready for Summer Game Fest? Well, yeah, absolutely. Will they be in? Oh, wait a minute. Wait. I just see, like, look what they did with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Or no, was it? No, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Like, I believe Modern Warfare Remastered had, like, goofy little things added to it. Like, you could spray paint your gun, like, flowers and stuff like that. Little things like that. I would. I'm. I'm happy to say that we don't have a remaster of the current classics because you know they're gonna slide in goofy things like that. Like I don't want Mortal Kombat 2 remastered with Fortnite skins. That's just me though. I understand not everything's for me, so I know there's a large segment of people that would enjoy that. So if we ever do get that, just know I'm happy for you. Do they have you in this game? Probably not. Probably not. What's up, the mask? How you doing over there, buddy? If you had a special move list for MK3, you had the power. That is absolutely true. Now, our itty-bitty kitty co-host is in the far back window. Thank you, Michael, and thank you for requesting an amazingly good character that I did not have to die with too much. Let me go over here and see who is on this request list as well. I saw a bunch of Nightwolf requests coming in. We got two for Nightwolf. Nightwolf is leading the votes. Don't forget to vote if you would like your character to be played. Allison and Terry, both going for Nightwolf for the Matoka, is coming in. Where's the old uh, Nightwolf? Let's go. Oh, you Noob Cybot? Noob Cybot we can get into today. Noob Cybot's uh, easy peasy. Summer Game Fest, uh, somebody asked on Facebook what that is. That's a gaming convention, correct? Cruz the third Night Wolf. Let's go. We made the right choice, yo. Yeah, Summer Game Fest is a uh, is coming up, and it's like a showcase of games. I don't know if we're getting any DLC announced any there or anything like that. Yo, yo, yo. Now, you can see Night Wolf throw his axe in Mortal Kombat 1. If you lose a test, your might. Oh yeah, Chris, there's definitely a way. Oh yeah, there's definitely a way. I don't know if there's a way to run a switcher on that. Bro, he's pressing all the buttons, isn't he? Okay, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the, the corner got here fast. Well, I tell you what, the corner on MK1 is a death trap, isn't it? Nami is in some of these. 
I knew that was gonna mess up. <clears throat> Now this is actually one of the stage portals that I'm really surprised they didn't put this in the original MK game. Dude, the corners in Mortal Kombat 1 are... You get stuck in the corner, that's it, it's over. There's nothing, you just, you're done. View game, etc. Oh, it's a replacement for E3? So is E3 all done, that's it. What's up, Jado? I still might get rid of that on-screen chat. I don't know if I like that. It's just so cluttery looking. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. It's just too busy looking for me. Jado, what's happening, buddy? I don't know if there's a way to do it while retaining that. Um, E3's officially dead, never coming back. Makes you wonder what happened. Do I have lightning? I have the reflector, that's it. Gotcha, lady. What's up, Joey? Favorite 3D stage arena? Um, I'd say maybe the uh, honestly, one of my favorite stages. Uh, well, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, the House of Pekara, Mortal Kombat Deception. I'm gonna say the courtyard or the pit, only because that's the only rendition of the pit we've ever got like that. It's the only HD pit we've ever, or the only remastered Mortal Kombat 1 pit we've ever seen outside of Shaolin Monks. But in an actual one-on-one -on -one Mortal Kombat fighting game, Mortal Kombat Deception's pit. Mortal Kombat Armageddon, my favorite stage. Oh, definitely the courtyard, Shao Kahn's courtyard. Shao Kahn's courtyard was sick in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. You had four death traps in one stage. That is wild stuff. I mean, Mortal Kombat Armageddon does not get a... Yeah, okay, max damage is at 51. Kinda sucks. Stop with that. Next Tuesday, do you want to do some uh, story mode on Mortal Kombat 9? Or do you want to do a conquest in Mortal Kombat Armageddon by chance? Nightwolf might come to Mortal Kombat 1. I knew E3 was doomed when they sent me an invite. As soon as I got invited to E3, I was like, uh, they need people. More than likely, yes, too, Sonic. Now, I wonder what the actor that plays Liu Kang is looking like nowadays. He's uh, still, he's still in amazing shape. I know that. All the Mortal Kombat actors look amazing to this day. E3, E3 was, uh, who knows what E3 stood for? Anybody? I'm asking because I, I just genuinely don't know. This is one of the hardest fights in this game, so watch out. Is it Entertainment Expo? What was the three for? Yeah. Nah, E3's cooked, it's done. It's done. Got it. Entertainment at third. <laughs> nice. What up, Mike? High five, my guy. Uh, Alactic Gaming Expo. Alactic. Oh, Electronic Entertainment Expo. Oh, okay. I can see that. Yo, Mike, this is a classic from history, my guy. We got two. Let's go. I'll see if he can float like those two, the other two guys. He can't. Yeah, E3 was cooked, but it was all right. I didn't want to make two trips to Vegas last year anyway. That's a long flight. You know what I learned last year when I went to Vegas for Evo? I think five and a half hours is about my limit I can handle on an airplane. I don't have any desire to be on. Yo, it came in already? Yo, that's fire. You getting intimidated? Man, my milk got here early. <laughs> a five-hour plane trip was brutal, man. Only because I like to sit by the window. So I can sit there like a child and look out the window. So if you got to go to the bathroom or something, then, like, you know, it's... it's. 
You gotta ask people next to you, like, hey, can I get up? I gotta go over. Now, Combo Breaker is on the, uh, is this a teabag? Combo Breaker's on plans for this year. Uh, I'm not 100%. Combo Breaker. Evo, we're not gonna make Evo. I do remember the Mighty Ducks. Absolutely. Five hours is nothing? Nah, man, I had enough of that. Flying's all well and good, but uh, you... looking for David WrestleMania. Who you going for, David? You gotta let me know. Are you going for? Are you are you wanting Cody to finish the story, or do you want Roman to write a new story by retaining the WWF Championship? Oh, it's WWE now. Oh, hold on. Let's bring back WWF. Do you want Roman to write a new story by defeating, continuing his reign of terror and and defeating uh, who is who's next on the? list of legends to overthrow their reign hogan is that was that yo terry's got his coming tomorrow oh let's go my thing is i just i just i just don't think that like i i i don't how do i word it It'd be like if I went live one day and I was going to be like, yo, today I'm going to overthrow like the record set by a streamer in 1967 who streamed for, you know, 38 hours. Well, nobody remembers that world record anyway. It's the same. I mean, like, I'm not taking I'm, all I'm saying is they're, a, or they're, they're going out of their way to erase parts of history that number one, it's their lineage. But number two, nobody really from the modern generation remembers that. So, Night Wolf wins. I would have like, uh, yo, what's up, Ghost? Good to see you. Malaxi, welcome into the show. Greetings and a massive hello. How's your day going? How are y'all relaxing on this Saturday? Y'all doing anything exciting out there? Are there any family events going on? Any Easter egg hunting? There's got to be kids out Easter egg hunting today, too, right? I should get some treats and put them, uh... Get some treats and hide them around the house for the cat. I do like the one theory, Rian, that I heard. This is just a fan theory, but I think it would be amazing to see that, like, let's say Cody versus Roman is going down... The Rock comes out and starts the refs down. The Rock comes out. They're both beating the crap out of Cody. Uh, you know, it just, it looks like it's going to be over with. And then all of a sudden, Cena's music hits. John Cena runs out. And then as you think he's about to help Cody, John Cena just grabs a steel chair and just waffles Cody. And Cena just aligns himself with the bloodline, and there's your Cena heel turn that everybody thought would never happen in a million years. That, I think, would be cool, and I would be so for that. It would suck to not see Cody win. Uh, I hope Cody wins a thousand percent. There's many reasons I hope Cody wins. But if that one scenario occurred, do you know how huge that would be? WWE ain't got the balls to do that, though. I think that would be what I would do. Have John Cena come out and, and just... And have him be like, I'm not letting this young kid come in and take my spot. No way. Death Traps on Deadly Alliance would have been amazing. I would have loved Death Traps on Deadly Alliance. Are y'all doing anything out there with family for Easter? Are y'all doing any? Have you done any Easter egg hunting? You got any family out there doing any Easter stuff? There we go. I, I can't do that from the top. Can I do this? Ah-ah. Ah-ah. Oh, that's all. What up, NATO? Welcome into the show. Welcome into our Easter uh, show. We need to play with Kung Lao and bust out some bunnies in the uh, hats. That, I think, would be amazing. I'm excited, though. So when uh, Mr. Thugonomics is coming back, that was actually pretty cool. Was that WrestleMania last year? Oh, for the love of pizza. Johnny Cage wins. Rota controller. Glad YouTube's working again, though. That uh, sucker there, so... Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, which MK character should turn into a mask? Uh, Dramen. It's actually his uh, animality or something, or his friendship. Oh, fuck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can see that ghost. I'm sure they're going to have something with, with Austin being there and all that stuff. What's up, Miguel? Welcome into the show. As you come in, don't forget to shout out where you're watching from. I'm trying to remember where every one of my viewers is from all around the world. Goal is to one day have a viewer from every single continent in here. I think smoke is a requirement on this game. Holy crap. Oh snap. Miguel, top of the day, bottom of the morning. Ah, shit. Uh, the link to download is right above your comment, Grant. That is the link tree right there. Damn, he's got us. Think the rock might? Phoenix, very, very nice. And so apparently there's an open slot on WrestleMania 2. Does anybody know what that is? There's an open slot of uh, like an open position on the card or something that I saw. Or an oh, is there an open position for? How is the how late do you have snow there up there, Allison? It's so jealousy, all the snow. I saw snow a couple years back. It was amazing. I had so much fun. Until they asked if I wanted to like uh, scrape the windshield. I was like, this is stupid. I was the guy, I was like, scrape the windshield, can't we just go boil some water and throw the water over the windshield? Apparently that does not work. So. My idea didn't go, meh, nah, sucks. Mountville, Pennsylvania coming in from the Nexus of Headlock Gaming. Smoke is a must play, Smoke's an a-hole on this game. Smoke's an absolute fan, he's an absolute bum. Smoke is an absolute bum in this game. A thousand percent. Don't forget, if you want to get your character featured, type exclamation point play, put a space, and put your character into the chat. And uh, let me make sure. I'm just looking to see who could potentially be next. All we need is two of one character. Most of it's gone now. Oh. Why did Smoke join with Noob Cybot? Originally, we don't really know. Uh, there was rumors that they were going to make Mortal Kombat Deception a tag game. And that... Or that there was a tag feature that might have been in the game. That, that was a noob smoke was an unused. Or that noob smoke was a remnant of that that they had thrown in there. We'll never know. But I mean, there, there's so many things. Like, I hope Ed Moon just writes a book. Because there's so many things that we just don't know throughout history. Like. Like, who's behind the Quan Chi neck stretch? That's something that's been guarded for, for... We don't know the dev behind the Quan Chi neck stretch. Oh, what is this? Oh, what the? And we let my combo finish. Like, on um, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance is, uh... Yeah, the goofy neck stretch. We never found out what dev was responsible for that. They've never mentioned it. They just said that, you know, after they first saw it, they were like, yeah, it's kind of dumb, but it was uh, too late to take it out at that point. So, yeah, I'd like to see some of that stuff, you know? I'd like to see some of the stuff actually. Uh, give me one second. I'm just doing a little, little damage to Archon over here just to keep up with the day's events. GG's, let's go. That's me doing that right there. Big shout out to Mike, who is the con of the realm right now. Mike, you got a character request? You let me know. You get the first priority on the request. Oh shite. That ain't good. I'm gonna stay over here. No! What's up, Jow? How's the day going? That was lucky. Not lucky. Okay. 
Now, I like selecting Nightwolf with the blacked out pants. I feel that's a good look for him. Like the all black Nightwolf, very, very cool. If you do test your might in Mortal Kombat 1, uh, Nightwolf, if you fail, will sometimes throw an ax at the screen. Well, that's all they had to do was turn the next stretch into pulling his head off. I actually, if you go back through the headlock gaming photos, you will see from a few years ago, I actually fixed that. All you have to do to fix the Quan Chi neck stretch fatality is put a big splash of blood in between. All you need is a giant explosion of blood where the neck stretch is, and it completely changes the fatality. You can take a still image of that fatality, and you can add a blood splat, like a blood splatter on it. It fixes it totally. It just looks like you pop the set off, and it's uh. I do really like. I was really hoping Toast on YouTube mentions those skeletons that Quan Chi had in his intro in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I really wanted those as special moves where he summons like skeletons and they uh, come to like help him fight. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Our first bottle of water's down. Go on to the next one. But he was really, really cool. I thought that was, uh... Quan Chi's cooked. I did see some other classic skins. Apparently we're gonna be getting classic skins from story mode in, uh... Apparently, you remember the scene in Mortal Kombat 1 story mode where they're at the party in um, Adenia or whatever? And they're all dressed up ridiculous. And uh, Johnny's wearing the hat, I think. I believe we're getting those skins in the game in Mortal Kombat 1. I don't know 100% for sure, but it's rumored that those are coming. Whatever that festival was called, the one that Reptile blew up uh, the uh, stuff and got caught. Now I did, you remember that? <laughs> I really don't need that skin for Ashura, but it's all right. Yo, Billy, thank you for the stoke. All right, come on, dude, stop. There we go. Now, Quan Chi is nice in these games because you could not initially ever play as Quan Chi in 2D Mortal Kombat. He's one of the first characters that I played with in Mugen. Where, like, he's a, he's a, a completely new character brought into the 2D Mortal Kombat universe, but he plays perfect. He plays just like a regular Mortal Kombat character would from back in the day, and I really would love to see if it's ever possible I'd love to see Quan Chi maybe potentially be modded into an arcade game. I don't know if it's possible, but yeah, Johnny was still looking. They, everything in Mortal Kombat wants goofy as shit. Look, not everything. I take that back. It's a fun game. Uh, I haven't fought this version of Goro in a minute. It's gonna take me a second to remember how to do this. Oh, nice, Woodland. That sounds good. Fort Worth for retro arcade and karaoke night. It's good people still do karaoke. Yeah, it was, but that's like their whole aesthetic. Like, the aesthetic is very much like random. I don't even know how to explain it. It's very random. Like, uh, like this jacket would never pass for a Mortal Kombat 1 uh, attire. There's far too little going on on this jacket. It's not, it's not ornate enough. They need to have metal, metal buckles off for no reason and straps that lead to nowhere and things of that nature. Like they say, when they're designing the MK1 stuff, they're like, we need more straps, more straps, more more metal clasps, uh, just all this random randomness. But you know what I'm talking about? It does. All right, now we go. We're gonna go pick a, one of our next characters on our character request list. If you want to get me to play your character, go ahead and drop it into the chat. Exclamation point. Play. Put a space and put your character. So, jump back. He teleports a lot. 
Ermac, huh? Ermac's actually a lot of fun. It's one of the only versions I think that I've played where Shao Kahn gets access to a, a breaker of all things. Yo, Allison, thank you for the 150. I used to think so this this had to be a uh, it's crazy to me to think that's actually Brian Glenn like this dude recorded this like that's not a kid that, that's just how jacked dude was like that's amazing like this dude is just jacked to the moon Allison this is going out to you thank you very much for the love on the stream oh no the itty bitty space kitties are taking a quick break hang on let it load for a second now we need to go back one of these days and find an <laughs> look at my wolf. So there's a couple. You want some Liu Kang? Hang out with us, my friend Truce. We might get some Liu Kang action in. There's a couple old Mortal Kombat Mugen games where that bonus thing right there it used to spin like a like a like a Vegas thing, and you had to like stop each tile at the right time. And if you didn't stop it at the right time, what's up, Plain Vein? How you doing? If you didn't stop it at the right time, that's how you would lock it up. Uh, Jow, it's in the, uh, it's in the link tree. What the hell? Oh, there we go. That was weird. That was odd. You want some jacks today? All right, we got to give Allison a big thank you again. Allison, thank you for the love on the show. Appreciate that. This is giving me a good second to find the star screen that I was looking for here. Cleaver's a fan of jacks. These interdimensional space kitties are coming to say thank you for the 150 stars. Appreciate that. Cleaver, if you want to add your name to the request list, you got to put exclamation point play, put a space and put your character next to it and it will add you into the list. We'll go over here and see what we got. We got Ron with Liu Kang. We had somebody else that looked for Liu Kang for a second. Lovell's looking for old man Shang Tsung. Lovell, you've been selected. If I can find old man Shang Tsung, he might not be here. There's not a guarantee old man Shang Tsung's in this. If he's not, I'll have to find somebody different. Mm. Let's get it. Let's go. Shao Kahn is a wonderful character. Let me stretch my chat out just a little bit. There we go. Feng wants Liu Kang. Always. Always and forever. Too many character choices? Now, I've never played with old man Shang Tsung on this. I don't know if he's any good. So we will find out together. These are characters that are secret characters hidden at the bottom row down there. You have infinite breakers too, so watch out. Okay, he does have that. All right, all right, so stay back. Knew he's gonna hit that. That goes through that. He's not bad. The morphs with this character are going to be a little bit different. Yeah, he's okay. Oh, he's got the sword. Okay. So it takes a little longer to transform with this Shang Tsung. What's up, Richard? That does land, so that's hard to slide out on this. The Great Kung Lao. There was an opportunity. I really, really, really thought at the end of MK1, we were about to go in and finally get a chance to meet the Great Kung Lao. The legend behind all the stories that we heard about. And I don't really understand yet what happened or how we, like, because the Kung Lao that Liu Kang talks to at the end of MK11 is not the Kung Lao from MK12, uh, MK1. The great Kung Lao already did all that stuff before. The great Kung Lao already existed before where we're at. So, I'm a little sad about that. I wanted to see the I wanted to see a true prequel. I was hoping to see like a descendant of uh, Scorpion, a descendant of uh, we could have seen like O'Nero as the Lin Kuei member. 
Oh, thank you, Curry. Like, Oniro is the leader of the Lin Kuei from back in the day. We could have seen Oniro, Oniro be the Lin Kuei uh, Sub-Zero character. That would have been too, too fresh, though. That was rumored to be a fatality in Mortal Kombat 1 Arcade. There was a rumor that that was actually going to be included in the game, and that's why Shang Tsung has the sword. Although, I don't know if that's 100% accurate, uh, as with everything on the internet. Uh, just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's true. So... This was right after this stage was developed, and this did not have stage music just yet. I do like this stage, because if you play this with Blaze, it's the secret boss battle. And Blaze actually jumps out from the back of the pit. Think that, okay, there's all of our moves. MK3 Kano is brutal. So we got Toast over on YT mentioning MK3 Kano. Fang, this stream is uh, technically is however long y'all want it to be. I wanted to get that juggle off. That's all I'm trying to get one time. Beated them. Yeah, I like how they I like how they do too, Remicon. Welcome in over on Twitch, my friend. Thank you for visiting. Oh, I gotta do it the hardcore way. That sucks. I do like the red aesthetic on this. I feel like this is a nice looking game overall. And being able to access all these extra characters on this, absolutely beautiful. Whoa. Best MK2 song? Good question. Trying to get that for level. Excellent. What's up, CL? Welcome into the stream. Hope you're having a beautiful day today. Don't forget to check the link tree. Link tree does have a bonus Mortal Kombat download link in there for you legends today. Anybody got any family out there doing anything for uh, the Easter weekend? You got any kiddos out there doing any uh, hunting of Easter eggs or anything of the such? This it up close. I hear you, Raymond. Zebron? Wasn't Zebron the rumored? Was Zebron the rumored Mortal Kombat secret character that didn't exist? That was part Zebra? Or am I mistaking? Am I remembering that wrong? I, I want to say Zebron was a rumored Mortal Kombat character that never came to fruition that they threw in as a troll. Uh, I could be mistaken on that, though. Let me know if that is accurate, though. No, it was a uh, Zebron was a thing. That was back in the day. Yo, Cruz! Send me a message, brother. It wasn't this one. You gotta watch out for those. They're they're. Uh... What's up, D? What's up, Billy? I remember Baylock. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what you saw, Cruz, but send me a message. So we're actually doing all right with this. Now we're running into Johnny Cage. He is going to be the nightmare character on this game. Uh, he's the one that you can't get near. So watch out for this. He looks even faster on this iteration. This is Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I'm using the Hori Fighting Commander. Damn it. Johnny Cage. We mm, this character drives me insane. You cannot do anything against him. It's nothing but fireball spam. I hate this character so much, man. He's just so busted. 
This is the trilogy version of him, man, and he's just literally so busted in this game. He can do so, like, it's just nothing. You can't jump up. You can't. It's fireball. Like, I was hitting him with two fireballs. Did you notice that? He was throwing one fireball. We were throwing two, and he was still outpacing us in the zone war. Is that from the one thing, that one clip? Well, thank you, Miguel. This fucking broken-ass character, man. Like, it messes up the frames, too. Like, it's it's choppy right now. Johnny Cage in these games, this trilogy version is just literally like busted smoke levels of busted. This dude just chucks like double fireballs because he can just break the system. Like that one fireball is outpacing us on the uh, actual damage. It's running? It's a running weekend? What does that mean? Special Forces isn't that bad. MK2 Shang on the arcade? You have to do specific inputs, Chris. You got to look it up. But like if you're trying to turn into uh, Sub-Zero, you got to do, I think it's forward, down, forward, high punch. Like some of them are their old fatalities from Mortal Kombat 1. Like if you want to turn into Scorpion, it's whole block up, up. Stuff like that. Stop, stop, stop. Yo, Quan Chi, what's up? Oh, raining. Oh, raining. I thought it was a big running day out where you were at. Thought everybody was running over there. Yeah, on the arcade version, um, like you do uh, forward, forward, down, high kick. No, that's the turn. No, that's. No, yeah, it's sub zero, forward, down, forward, high punch. Yo, this is going out to my friend Quan Chi, dropping the love. Wait, let's give Quan Chi some Quan Chi. What are we doing? What are we doing? We got to give Quan Chi Quan Chi. Keep doing funny skulls. That's all you can do against Johnny. There's like no other way to beat that character. It's absolutely mind-blowingly, mind-numbingly annoying uh, to fight Johnny on these games. I like playing RK6. It's a little loud. Um, I like to be a little bit like I, I think my Xbox controller is a little clicky too. I like that clickiness though. Yo, Quan Chi, thank you. I like the clickiness of the uh, Xbox controller. I feel like it's good stuff. Is it? Nice. No, Happy Easter, everybody. There's a bunny. Is Moloch coming to Ultimate Mortal Kombat Deception? Moloch in Ultimate Mortal Kombat Deception would be freaking wild. You want a drama in Mortal Kombat 10 oh, X? Yo, Quan Chi. Oh, I keep meaning to give you Quan Chi screens. Let's go. Thank you very, very much. I still haven't found this game either. I've been looking for that Mortal Kombat game for about a hundred years. Like this, this. Look at the speed of the of the AI. Like it's not even the same speed as you move. It's like a whole different character. MKX would have been a wild game with drama. He would have fit, though. I see. He's, he's the aesthetic. I could see him in the game. That's a tight timing on that. Who's my favorite player? Like, uh, character? Look at, look at this. The Kali oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. Not Striker. Striker's so dangerous in these Mugans. He's got just weird frames, man. There's like a handful of characters that I for season three, I really hope they get some attention. Like Smoke for season three of uh the next when when they do the next revision of Bugan, if we get there something needs to be done about a couple characters just just my opinion smoke needs to be addressed do i remember the video game crash of 1983 oh i was t t two years old so not vividly but i, I do remember it occurring
Not vividly though. Not 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 very much so. I like that one hide. I like that one. Thank you, Cruz. Appreciate you, bro, brother. I see something. What's my other uh da -da -da, Liu Kang? Ah, our character's kind of goofy. This game's kind of goofy. Like, do I like coffee? Nah, although I did drink a pot of coffee one time and sit down and no death run Sonic Spin Ball, so there isn't a there is an argument to make that I do operate better on coffee. What's up, pal? A fucking uppercut. Did you see that? That's a true story. I did sit down and uh, drink a pot of coffee one day and then no death run Sonic Spin Ball. Well, that's a good question. I don't know how much I spent. I know I spent probably $20 a week. A lot of times I'd spend a lot of money going to the arcade. wins. <laughs> No death run on Sonic Spinball is wild, and that no death run is on our YouTube channel. If you want to see your boys sit down and no death run Sonic Spinball on complete accident, wired to the moon on a pot of coffee, uh, it is a uh, search YouTube for Headlock Gaming Sonic Spinball. Fair warning, this is uh, a lot of profanity in that stream. I don't know why. Uh, that was a prof. I was a very profane stream that day. So, be aware. I try not to be that profane anymore, but uh, I was on edge that day too. Coffee makes me curse. You're very good at Sonic Spinball, Mikey. It's a very good game. Sonic Spinball. If you have not uh, played that game, that is a gem in history. I don't know what it was, man. That whole coffee had me going that day. Rob the robot? Yes, I do. This game is so cheap. I want to see? I just want to see if I have a different. No, I don't. All right. Check and see if I had a different pop up right there. I don't. Sonic Spinball was a very unique game. I don't know if it's a hundred percent possible to. Uh, yo, shout out to the legends on Combat Realm. What's going on, Combat Realm? Give yourself a shout out. This is what I mean. This dude needs work, man. This dude needs work. Like. Smoke needs to be fixed. Huh? I, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, he wasn't even done turning invisible and he punished us immediately with an attack. Like, that's what I mean. Like, this character is devastatingly broken. Like, to the point where it's just, he needs a shadow, or he needs his invisibility nerfed, or something needs to occur. This dude is literally, like, the most broken thing ever in the history of Mortal Kombat, Mugen. What's up, Ty? How are you feeling today? Well, Sonic 3D Blast, play like on 32X. Nick Robocop, what's up? Queen, I will be representing this oh, bro, you got this, homie Pasteroni. Show him smoke, yo. Show him the smoke. Play smoke? Nah, I'm about to delete smoke from the game. I should give y'all my secret Mortal Kombat game that I have that I made that doesn't have smoke's ass. Did y'all know I had a game like that? That's a true story. I have my own private Mortal Kombat Mugen game that nobody's ever seen that I have that I put together. There's no MK2 smoke. There's no MK Cyber smoke. There's no busted characters. It's just a good time. Nick is at his own Mortal Kombat trilogy game convention right now. Going down. Going to from the Mugen family. Wish me luck. It's going to be first tournament. You got this, Nick. Thank you for the love and support. That's going out to you, homie. What's up, Ty? How you feeling on this beautiful day? Manuel, welcome in. These fireballs are for you. Is old man Shang taller than, uh, he's taller than him. Check it out. Smoke robs, like if you're trying to do like content, smoke will just absolutely screw up everything you're trying to do. There's, I have no time for broken uh, stuff. And it's not anything about an individual game. It's the character smoke himself is just broken. So, there's a game I have that I put together for myself that it's no smoke, 
there's no Mortal Kombat trilogy Johnny Cage because he's busted too. There's no Cassie Cage. There's no Lee May. I do like Smoke. Human Smoke is okay. He's not as broken as the rest. But, but it, when you're playing against the computer, uh, wins. Sonic Spinball is programmed in C. Oh, as most games are programmed in assembly. Oh, really? I like Injustice. It was... My hatred for smoke is hilarious. I was going to make a Mortal Kombat game with all smoke on it. But, like, I'm serious. Like, I don't have time for broken nonsense. And if I'm trying to do, a, like, an offline tower or something like that, I don't have time to do an offline tower and be 90% of the way through it. And then you run into one character that's playing a completely different video game than you? No. That's why I took him out. Because those characters will like it. That's the same reason I don't use the uh, ultra just broken Shao Kahn's. Because there's some Shao Kahn's that you can come across where the whole game you'll fly through it and it's one difficulty level. Then you get to Shao Kahn and it's just absolutely unbeatable. Hmm. Go play uh, CPU difficulty. Which ones are that? Dude, Mugen is taking a long step forward. Uh, five years ago, Mugen was completely unrecognizable. It's getting real close to where it's... I want to figure out a way to play this on console, though. 100%. Console, I think, would really take some strain off my PC. Sector on this game? Yes. I mean, Mr. G-Star, 321. Y'all remember when Mr. G-Star returned gloriously? I think he returned in 2020, didn't he? Like, at the midst of the midst of the pandemic and all the thing going on, I think Mr. G-Star returned to YouTube. I like that sound. Hi, there's some amazing fan games. We're going to check out another one. Oh, fuck. We'll be checking out another one of Javi Lopez's amazing games too. It's actually pinned in our link tree right now. Which one is that, Richard? I seen the new. I haven't seen the new Bad Boy show. I heard it was good. Eichmann Go is running on Nintendo Switch through Linux. I don't know how to Nintendo. I don't know how to hack my Nintendo Switch though. You gotta do that, right? You gotta hack your Nintendo Switch. Gotcha, son! Let's cut his head off. Let's go on out to level. I did not notice that John Spice created Tao Fang. Is that accurate? This G Star is amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. Look at this. This is one of my favorite lines from Mr. G Star. Look at this. One of my favorite clips of Mr. G Star is uh he's playing sub-zero mythologies and he's on one of the last levels and a guard kicks him off a ledge and he lands on he glitches the game out and he's already frustrated to hell and a guard roundhouse kicks him and he lands on this thing where he's like psh, 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 psh. and he's like all right well i guess i gotta i guess i gotta run the clock out i don't want to do this level all over again and he lets the clock run out, thinking he's going to die. Hello, Marat. Welcome in. And when the clock runs out, he's still sitting there. Psh, 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 glitched out glitched out the game. It was fantastic. It was absolutely good stuff, man. I absolutely loved it. Top to bottom. It was quality all the way through. All right, let's see who's running the roost as the top request right now. We got two for smoke. We got three for smoke. Drew... Chris Jones, you said Cyrax, my bad. Anden and uh, Conan. Cyber Smoke it is. Where is he? Smoke. Smoke. Let's go. Uh, he's played some really good Mugens. He played with ones that had like... Um, what's the one character? Bear Sub-Zero. Bear Sub-Zero. Now, I saw a guy that we played his Mugen game. What's up, Marat? Yeah, I'm on Fight Kate, homie. You want to play Fight Cade, Murat? Murat, what's your name on Fight Cade? I was thinking about doing it today. What do you play, Murat? On Fight Cade. 
That's tricky to do on Mugen, too. See, the reason that you can't play like the... Jeez, man. The reason you can't play the broken... Um, the broken smoke that the computer does is the trick that the computer can do that you can't is this teleport can be activated at any point in the jump in the computer's hands. You can't do that. You can only activate your teleport at specific points. And that makes it to where... You have a K3 on fight It's amazing. You can mod a console to play this, but you need to mod it with a custom... You need to mod it so it's running Windows. Uh, that in itself is a little bit hefty of a task to get through. Let's go! Sweep the leg. There's a reason I did that. Oh, he took himself out. I've never really dove into Fighter Factory. I do need to check it out a little bit. I want to figure out how to change my health bars in Mortal Kombat versus the world around a little bit. And I got some other changes that I need to do in Fighter Factory. But I will figure that out. Now, I'm wearing my typo negative shirt today. What are y'all usually wearing for the weekend? Y'all wearing anything comfortable out there? Anybody in pajamas for the stream? Oh, can you change health, health points? Uh, there's a couple DOA, uh, Hitman. I would say, uh... I like King of Fighters, absolutely. Very, very highly respected game in South America, too. <laughs> the difficulty is fucked. Yeah. You are, Allison? Nice. Why does he hate Lee May? I'm not familiar with the Lee May hate. Um... I think, DOA, you might be talking about Mortal Kombat Defenders of the... Uh, no, that's not it. Mortal Kombat Outworld Assassins, I believe, is what you're thinking of. Yeah, I think that's Mortal Kombat Outworld Assassins. Bro, I chose not Mugen. I don't know if there's a problem with his coding, but I can't get his fatalities to work. He's in Mortal Kombat Mugen, but he's not, like, 100% fixed for... Like, he's not 100%. Uh, Baraka does not have a pop-up, David. That's one of the reasons I don't like Baraka that much. Baraka requested... David requested Baraka only if he has a pop-up. Yeah, Defenders of the Earth. Or, uh, no. Outworld Assassins, yeah. If you want to really get down, play Outworld Assassins, uh... XL. Playing T-shirt with Rugrats. Sweatpants. Oh, really? Rugrats. Do they even make cartoons that good anymore? Rugrats, man, that feels like it was maybe 10 years ago. It's a little bit more than that. Let's go. Navy blue camo shorts, Commodore 64 shorts. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh, camo. Fuck, dude. What's up, Chip? Knew he was gonna do that. Oh, this fucking character. Look how he grabbed us off the ground. This character is fuck. 30 years ago? They had a reboot three years ago? Oh, don't tell me that. That's fucking stupid. Oh, this game is so fucking rigged, man. Damn. The amount of priority that CP... Oh, look at this, man. No cooldown. Just typical fucking jank. Yo, this Night Wolf is annoying as hell. Look at this. Like, you... It, yeah, that's the other thing I was going to say. The computer needs to have some kind of cooldown on special moves. Like... 
the way that they can just fart out special moves on like three in a row the uppercuts good lord man fix the uppercuts too what's up kai it's not just the night wolf's wild it's that the the, the computer's able to just do special like look at the speed increase like that's not even it's glitching out special moves because it's doing them so fast Like, that would be my hope for Mortal Kombat's next uh, season. If we make it, I heard that we might not get season. Fuck sakes, dude. Yeah, Justin, Fire Factory? It's insane. No, I heard something about... I don't know. I heard something that we might that the new season of uh mortal kombat project is i don't know they're working on it we i don't know i don't know if we're gonna get it but i heard that oh, what wow, this was like two years ago i heard that there was some some hang-ups behind the scenes that that could be uh his fucking character let's go Nah, MK1. There's some stuff about MK1 too. Like, we were some, some thought processes on there about why did we get the Baraka season that we got right now? Because a lot of people thought that we uh, were going to get the season of, excuse me, a lot of people thought we were going to get the season of Havoc when we got the DLC story mode. Because the season of Havoc was kind of looking like it was going to be part of the story mode, you know, the expansion of story mode. But then we got this season, which was the season of Havoc, essentially, just retooled as Melina's season. And everybody was wondering why. And it's just a fan theory, but I saw a neat fan theory that somebody said, what if they are canceling the DLC because uh, the game ain't doing what they want it to do? But I don't think that's the case. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Could that be a thing? Like, what if that was... This is just tinfoil hat conspiracy. What if that's why we got the season of Havoc right now instead of uh, the season of Melina? What if they were just rushing out the season of Havoc because they're just putting out stuff because they're not going to be doing the DLC story? I'm sure they will. I bet you this Mortal Kombat gets, gets supported longer than any other MK they've done for a number of reasons. I'll say Dairu, because they knew the failure of Su Hao, and yet they remade Su Hao in the next one with Dairu. That, that's, that's, that's why I think Dairu to me is the worst character. I think I got another, yeah, I do have another teleport. Dairu, who is now Havoc, by the way. He was such a bad character that they actually erased him from history. Look at that uppercut. So, Dairu is actually Havoc in the new Mortal Kombat game. Man, this game is fixed. Look! Oh, bro, this is just so fucking rigged to one side. He does say most of the 3D era characters. Woo, this game is something else. But who do you think is the worst? Is the game glitching now? Like, what is this that makes the computer so... Like, I wish I understood more about coding in Mortal Kombat Mewing, because I would just delete this, like... Like, it literally is, like, screwing up the inputs and, like, making the game play like crap because it's just so fast. They did. They, they turned him into Havoc. 100% they turned him straight into Havoc. So, Dairu is now Havoc. That's, that's like, canon. They talk, I don't remember where they revealed that. Ay, ay, ay. Look at this. It's just screen tearing going on. This dude can turn around on the ground, face the opposite direction, and uppercut you. It's insane. 
Like, is this a boss version of the character? He's safe on everything. He's got no cooldown. This dude is insane. Oh, Cobra? Cobra was an interesting character back in the day. My God, that was unacceptable. Woo! Woo, big shout out to you legends watching across Facebook, YouTube, Kick, Twitch, wherever you're watching that today. Y'all are packed in deep across the realms, man. We got almost 50 over on YouTube today. Coming in hot on Twitch. I see all you legends watching on Facebook as well. Let me know if Facebook gives y'all any issues today as they are working on fixing up the platform once again. Like, this is just unacceptable, this AI. It truly is. The computer's been able to cancel way too much stuff together. Like, it's special move canceling and then more special moves and the reverse frames. Well, Havoc is literally your... Oh my god, dude. It's not even the same speed. Holy fuck, dude. What is this? What's up, Crest Lion? Good to see you. The computer, like, I don't know what causes these games to play like this, where it's just double the speed and, like, it goes absolutely, like, haywire on you. There's Mugen games out there we don't play. Be oh, my God. This is not even right. There's Mugen games that we don't play on the channel because they're, uh... They're... What's up, Oscar? Well, no, this isn't that bad. I was going to say, Toast, there's some. You can see how much priority the computer gets on this. But there are some Mugens out there that they call air quote hard. And I just refuse to play them because they're not hard. They just have turned up the priority to the computer so much. It's like you get robbed of the like you'll never trade with the computer and like the computer's like eight times faster than you they have increased collision detection those games are uh disgusting i can send you a couple links to some but i've done videos of them like offline towers where you can pick the best character and it's just so heavily balanced into the computer side that it's almost unplayable Nah, yeah, no, the hard stuff. That's why I made MK, uh, MK versus the world is based off of, uh, Oscar, what's up, my bro? MK versus the world is based off giving you the same tools as the computer has, which is you're working with the same tool set. You actually have the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my personal game? Personal games are offline stuff. But my game is MK versus the world MK Outbreak. MK versus the world does have hard characters on it, but at the same time, all your characters can do the same thing. You're not uh, egregiously uh, unbalanced with speed and uh, all sorts of stuff like that. If you try to do some of this stuff, like if you try to spit out fireballs and do all these special moves, spitting outs and all that stuff, it won't be like that right there. You cannot do that. It just simply doesn't allow it. You'll just throw out like a punch or something. That's why I like Mortal Kombat 1 the most, Remo. I feel like Mortal Kombat 1 had the hardest AI to manipulate, kind of. And I feel like as far as like every other, like Mortal Kombat 2 had some pretty specific patterns that could be followed to, to fool the AI. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 could really be manipulated. Mortal Kombat 1, though, I did feel they really knocked it out of the park with uh, creating an experience that simulated fighting a... Uh... Look at that! Hey, what's up, Oscar? Thank you very, very much, brother. Boone Tobias, man. Will they ever work together? Now, Tobias, I believe, does work with NRS, Warner Brothers, uh, San Francisco, something, anybody know? I don't know, something like that. Somebody tag John Tobias in here so he can uh, come in and tell us where he works now. 
It's WB Games San Francisco, I believe. <laughs> John Tobias does work at WB San Francisco, though, if I'm not mistaken. WB Games in San Francisco, I think. Cobra was a blatant ripoff of Ken, but that was the cool thing, is he was designed to be kind of like a Street Fighter character without them having a Street Fighter character. I kind of think, kind of, sort of, sort of, kind of, that makes sense. Thank you, Oscar. I appreciate you, you legend. What's up, Mark? Top of the day, bottom of the morning, middle of the afternoon. How are you feeling on this glorious afternoon? Welcome into the live. We are bringing, oh dear Moses, smell the roses. Now, Jade is a character also, I think. Oh, there we go. I think she might become in Mortal Kombat 1. I'm not mistaken, but I think Jade had some lines of audio that were potentially not, uh, I think they were deleted in the game. Or there was something, there was a line of code that was discovered in Mortal Kombat 1 where a character was talking to her. Quincy, what's up? What's the all-star cast in here right now? We got Mark in here. How's everything up north, my guy? We got Quincy in here? Quincy, when are we fighting on Mortal Kombat 1, buddy? Is today the day? Oh. A fudge? I like Natara. I think Natara's fantastic. That's what I mean. Like, I obviously kicked that chick first, but it just gives it to the computer. Like, that that's robbery, in my opinion. That was just straight robbery. The realms are treating me well today. I got a my typo negative shirt on. The cat, Mark, check the supporter group today, bud. I uh, put a very cute cat video in there. The cat was watching Bob Ross before we uh, got started today. It was quality, quality. That's actually part of the reason we were late. The itty bitty kitty just demands that I spend time with the kitty in the morning, afternoon before we start. Oh yeah, I'm a typo fan, man. Shout out to Peter Steele, man. This character makes me want to say all sorts of spicy words. Oh, I'm so tired. That, that, that is another thing that needs to be addressed in this game overall. Jade, when she throws her glaive, pay attention. Her arm will be extending and the glaive is, it's, it's active frames are from the moment her arm is extended. It's not the, uh, you seen that? Yeah. I like how Taki's head was like turning every time he'd go to do the brush. He's like, now we're going to do this. And Taki was like. Now we got to get Taki a little paint set. Fucking hell, man. Just want to play the same game as the computer. What's up, Corey? We got to play MK1 someday? Well, we can do that today, Legends. I got to play Quincy on Mortal Kombat 1. Got to play Corey. Corey was out there beating me around with some, uh, can you hold your own Street Fighter? Bro, I'll tell you right now, 100% facts. I'm undefeated on Street Fighter 6 at this moment. If I put on my Street Fighter 6 game, you will see I have not lost a game since I purchased Mortal uh, Street Fighter 6 on online. I have not lost a single game yet. Now, I've only played, like, I think, uh, seven, maybe, against one player, but uh, that, that's it. But, I mean, I was thinking about retiring undefeated. Hey, Mark, how's the weather up there? I need to look, man. I got to get these plans sorted out, like, um, like ASAP for the uh, Michigan trip, man. I'm so excited for that. Well, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, later on this year, we're going to be live in Michigan. We're going to be live in Pennsylvania this year. There's our co-host. There you are, buddy. So I'm going to be taking the stars from this month, and we are going to be getting the Itty Bitty Kitty another webcam, but this webcam needs to go. There you go, little guy. There you go. The other webcam's going to have to go uh, all the way to the back window. We need meat in MK1. I mean... 7 and 0, man. That's a nice round number, man. Seven days in a week. Seven wins for headlocks on Street Fighter 6. The weather? I don't know. I didn't go outside.
Oh, really? Oh, that is unhinged. Holy Moses. 30s with snow up to 60s? I don't know where I'm going to be at in PA. I just know that we're going to be in PA in September. We're going to be in Michigan in July. Uh, combo breaker, potentially where we will be at. Um, I would like to enter. I want to go to Evo this year. I really wanted to go to Evo. It's just the exact same time as my family reunion. Family first. Ahmed, what's up? Everybody on Headlock Gaming lives up or near Pennsylvania, pretty much. It's really uh, quite extensively interesting. I've not sorted that out. We uh, we got a lot of we got a lot of Pennsylvania viewers. In here. That's why I say like it's uh, Nexus to Headlock Gaming, Pennsylvania. Chris is from Pennsylvania. Lowell's from Pennsylvania. Got John in Pennsylvania. Everybody else from Michigan, pretty much. Bro, Jax is doing the stuff. There we go. Don't forget, we got our bonus game going too as well, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be checking out. In the state above me, Georgia. Oh, me We got killed. You up in Chicago? You're in Tennessee? Tennessee's beautiful. We used to want to live there. There are some houses that I did charity work on many years ago. Uh, I built some houses. I built not houses. I built some roofs. I put some roofs on some houses for uh, charity. Uh, up in Tennessee. Those roofs are probably gone. What you doing, little buddy? Oh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're good. You're good. Oh, you're fine. Were you playing with your TV and you knocked your TV over? You're good, little buddy. There you go. Did y'all see Taki jump? Taki accidentally knocked over his little tablet. I got you, buddy. There you go. There's your Bob Ross. Taki likes watching the Bob Ross channel. So... What about the it's about Tekken 8? Tekken 8's an amazing game. Why does Nostalgia Critic hate Doug? I don't know. Uh, do I have a what going in? I didn't know he hated Doug. I thought Doug was an amazing cartoon. Isn't that where ECW was? Oh. Do you have any, do I have any influence over the new movie? Only what I can say on live stream and hope that they're watching and I'm sure they are sometimes. <laughs> I could guarantee you they watched this a few times. Um, thank you for that, by the way, if you're watching. They listen to the fans, they, they're well aware. Um, mm, I will say this, like they knew the first movie was not, a hundred percent really in line with what they were looking with in some forms because they immediately addressed that Cole Young was not going to be in Mortal Kombat 1. ECW. ECW. So we got Classic Rain, we got Sub-Zero, Jax, Liu Kang, and Sector on the chat requests right now. Come to Texas? Chile? Uh, Texas is a place I wanted to see... Uh, there's a big event in Texas coming up. The Mortal Kombat actors are going to be there. Texas Game Cruise, help me, bro. I'm drowning over here. What's the what's the uh, cruise? What's the Midwest Gaming Classic? Is that it? I think you got the Midwest Gaming Classic coming to Texas in a few days. Could be mistaken. Um. Yeah, I think it's the Midwest Gaming Classic in Texas. If you were out in Texas area, Midwest Gaming Classic, I believe the Mortal Kombat actors are going to be there. I saw Jax, the actor that plays Jax, actually do a little hype video for that. So you can see that. Oh, crap. If you want to go see the act, oh, for crying out loud. If you want to go see that actor that portrays uh, Jax. You looking for Human Hydro? I don't know if I have Human Hydro in this game, Quincy. Quincy, do you want to play Mortal Kombat 1 today? I think today is the day, good sir. Let's get down like Charlie Brown, bro. Wait. Okay, there we go. Mark, did you tell me uh, John Parrish? Yeah. Shao Kahn is not the motivational speaker. Oh. My bad. 
Yeah, it's uh, John Parrish. He's got a Facebook page where he was promoting the event, and he was like, we will see you. Waiting for a dub date? You're on Xbox, right, Quincy? There was rumors of a third Mortal Kombat movie, but Cole Young hadn't been thought of yet, so they just had to wait 25, 30 years for Cole Young to become a thing. Just kidding. So, Mark Pelega, if you're still in the chat, you told me about some other airports up in that area. I'm trying to remember, where did you say I potentially could fly into? Outside of Detroit? I'm trying to avoid driving uh, into the thumb from Detroit. I don't like driving out of state. Like, 100%. I don't like, I said it last year. I said it the year before. I don't like driving out of state. I don't like driving in strange areas. And then after I came back and we started live streaming again, my first story was about the speeding ticket I got up there. Why is Taven more interesting than Cole Young? Uh, Cause he had a brother and there was some storyline behind him. He had some powers. Saginaw, Saginaw would be amazing. That's it right there. Flint and Saginaw, okay. If I fly into Flint, then Johnny Johnny can pick me up at the airport. Right, Johnny? Let me write that down. Taki, can I get to my pens over here, buddy? Thanks, Sony. Saginaw is beautiful, too. If you are ever at the Detroit airport and you think you see headlocks, you'll know it's me if I'm walking around and taking photos of the uh, the luggage drop off at Detroit airport. That is the signature thing I do every time I'm at Detroit airport. I love that airport. It just takes me back to being a kid. Every time I'm there, I walk by the area where they have because those where you put your luggage to get picked up at Detroit airport. Like where you put it down, those little conveyor things, it's to this day, it's the same as it was like 35 years ago. It's actually pretty surprising to me that it's, uh... oh, you're 20 minutes away from Saginaw? Oh, bro, we can make this work, Mark. Definitely. I didn't know you were that area. All right. Taki, your show is not working, but I got to restart your uh, gimmick. Oh, there you go. Something paused. So Taki is now watching Bob Ross over here. That is what you see on the... Uh... Yo, that third TMNT movie was kind of wild, wasn't it? I watched that back recently. That movie wasn't as awful as I thought it was. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the most. It wasn't terrible. All right, Cruz. We got to give Cruz some Cyrax up in here or some Sector. Cruz is going out to you, homie. Let's go over here. What up, Malik? Welcome in over on Twitch, my bro. Saginaw Airport. All right, I'm excited for that. I got to talk to my brother and get in some more deets on that. But uh, it's going to be awesome. Who was my viewer that was asking about Fight Cade? Have I ever met Richard DeVizio? Yes. Richard DeVizio is amazing. All the Mortal Kombat actors are absolutely incredible to meet. Rich DeVizio. He's just, he's awesome, man. He, he's so awesome. Yeah, I uh, I met them at Retro World uh, Retro World Expo when I was just starting out. I'd been a streamer for like a year, and they'd been on my page a couple times, and I was just fanboy to the moon. I was like, "Yo, you came on my page one time and said hi to me," and I was so excited. Big fan, big fan. And you gotta remember, like, I didn't get into this to be a streamer. Streaming live shows me. Um, so I'm still the ultimate, like, just big Mortal Kombat fan. The only reason I'm a streamer is just because I'm a big, big old, dumb Mortal Kombat fan. Nah, but I remember that. Is that from mobile games or something, uh, Hitman? There we go, Cruz. Let's go down to you, homie. Annihilation. At the time, I didn't know it was a bad movie. Fatality. I did not ask him what his favorite character was to do, but uh, I did hear stories about that, uh... I felt bad for him because in a lot of those roles, he had to wear some very hot things. Uh, I mean, like... Oh, really? Oh. I... That... Like, wearing, like, uh, the Baraka mask and wearing, like, the, like all the masks and everything like that, it, that had to be nuts. 
Hit this man with your bomb. There you go. Oh, shit. I'm trying to find somebody I can help grade my... Uh, yeah, I met Daniel Pacina at the same time there. I got autographs from Daniel Pacina, Rich Divizio, and Anthony Marquez on my Sega CD. God, this is insane. Bro, look at this dumbass missile of mine. That j and not only that, it just went around him like... This is so rigged. The missile went around him six times without hitting him purposely. Like, my missile was a homing missile, right? It just sit there and circled him. While it's like, nah, we're just gonna let it run out. I'm an affiliate link for it? Yeah, that's sick hit, man. Kinda trashes this shit. What I mean, smoke is just an unforgivable mess in these games. Like, he needs to be just completely taken and adjusted before Season 3 of Mugen comes out. This character needs to be adjusted. There's some busted characters in base Mortal Kombat Mugen that need to be fixed. Either he needs a shadow or... Also, when they turn invisible, he can be in the same... He can be in the same invisibility frame and just start doing... That's what I mean, like right there. The frame that they're invisible, they can do anything else. So <laughs> the stretchy sector is tight. Thank you very, very much. I did see... What did I see the other day? We got classic skins for... Uh, I'm starting to like the skins for MK1. It's a little bit of a shame that the only good skins we get are the premium edition skins. Um, I'll be honest, like, I'm only, I, I'm not, um, no, it's not on Hobby Send to Fix, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a smoke problem, it's the coding of him. It's not something a creator of the game can necessarily fix. It's smoking itself. Hobby's actually one of my favorite creators in the space. For many years, this was one of my most played games. And still to this day, if you ask me what my favorite Mortal Kombat Mugen game is, I'm going to point you in this direction of this game. Because I feel like this is a true extension of Mortal Kombat Trilogy, as it adds just new features that are polished. My favorite character? I like Scorpion. He's loyal to his family and his clan. But I feel like this is a true extension of the trilogy. It is revitalized with new moves, new abilities, new stages. You got friendships. You got all sorts of new things added to the classic aesthetic. What's up, Bart? How you doing, buddy? We do have the classic skin for a reptile dysfunction. But like, I'm only I'm not a demigod yet in Combat League because I have no desire to play Combat League. There's no reward there. Like. Have you, like, I don't, the, the, the skins are terrible. There's no reason to play it. Unless, unless you're a competitive player like myself, and you just enjoy Mortal Kombat, that's all you got. Well, thank you, Cruz. Master Noob. Noob Sidebot's fun character. We haven't played him in a hot minute. But like, uh, what's up, Chris? Like this mask right here? That mask would be super cooked. What the fuck is this? Y'all got any early plans for Easter? Does anybody have any Easter candy out right now? You don't know, buddy. What's up, Cody? Welcome into the stream. Just checking on my itty bitty kitty. We got to get Taki a little pillow over here. Like, don't you want to lay your head down, bud? Find some Taki, do you want to lay your head down on something, buddy? I get the cat a little pillow. So if you're new to the channel, this is my little itty bitty co-host. The co-host on the side of me over here, that camera was born because the kitty co-host. Uh, I'd like to jump on the desk and uh, we had to start pushing the streams back. I think four o'clock. Look for the live streams about four o'clock PM Eastern nowadays. I think 4 o'clock Eastern is a perfect start time, and I think if we come on before 4, we can just consider ourselves early. Uh, yo, the legend himself, 
is on why is on the twitch what's up rat killer how you doing legend nah i think hanzo asashi is going to become scorpion everybody in mk is getting their their uh everybody in mortal kombat one's getting their origin story so we see how kenshi gets blinded melina stabs him in the face which is a great scene <laughs> Uh, we saw how Raiden gets his amulet. We see how these characters come to be in their form, you know. I think what we might get is we might see the Scorpion and Sub-Zero feud play out between Kwai Liang and Bihan. And I think that one of them is going to kill the other in that squabble. And the one that dies will come... What this fuck? This is what I mean. Her active frames become active the moment her arm comes out. It's not the projectile that hits you. It's literally her arm. The second her hand comes out, the projectile will hit you. The frames attack. Hanzo Hasashi is uh, in the care of the Lin Kuei right now. As just a young boy. Oh my god. It's just fucking It's little aesthetics like this, like like Jade just being able to chuck like infinite fireballs at you without any cooldown, stuff like that is what I would take out of the game, out of Mugen. All, all the stuff that no human players can pull. If it's impossible for a human player to do, take it out of the game for the for the PC. I'm so sick of that mechanic. Let's go, burner. So I'm thinking that, so I'm confused. So Scorpion currently is Kwai Liang, right? I think Bihan, who is Sub-Zero, ends up killing Kwai Liang to their blood feud that they're in currently. I think Kwai Liang might come back as Noob Saibot, and I think Hanzo Hasashi might end up taking up the mantle of, Han, of Scorpion, and we might see Hanzo Hasashi actually become Scorpion. Like, we might see him take, you know, the spear of the fallen scorpion that we have now, and he might take his mask, very similar to how in Mortal Kombat, back in the day, after Sub-Zero was killed, his brother took up the mantle of Sub-Zero. That's at least what I would do. What if they just bring in, uh... uh well, I don't know. Now it's all timeline, so it doesn't matter. Like I said, nothing's consequential in Mortal Kombat anymore. But, you see what I mean, Mike? It makes sense. The only thing I don't understand is that Hanzo Hisashi is like eight years old in this timeline, and everybody else is like 45, 50, something like that. I still don't know what time zone we're in. Man, I, I really like Super Mario. I wanna, I've been wanting to do, if it didn't blow up the channel so much. I mean, right now, Facebook's algorithm's gone anyway. I think that's on purpose too. They added this button so we could show the stream to more people if we pay them. And now it's like numbers are ass unless I hit that button. I'm hitting that button ever. But I wanted to do a Mario day where we just go through, a, I wanted to beat all the Mario games ever in history. I wanted to have like a Mario Monday where we do like Mario 1 one day and then Mario 2 the next week, Mario 3 the following week, Super Mario Brothers 4 the following week. Who can tell me what game is technically Super Mario Brothers 4? Oh, thank you, Emery. When I say Super Mario Super Mario 4, um, what game do you think of? It's super laggy. Hey, thank you, Remo. I appreciate that. I know, um, no, I haven't tried Mario Wonder yet. The one game I wanted to play is Super Mario Sunshine. I was wanting to ask Captain BS uh, if he's played that. Super Mario Sunshine was a game that, Super Mario World, right, but what was the Game Boy game? Wasn't there a Game Boy Advance game called Super Mario something 4? And it was actually Mario... Super Mario 3? Super Mario Advance 4 or something like that? I have to go look it up. 
But Super Mario Sunshine uh, was a... Uh, it was Super Mario World. Super Mario Sunshine, you ran around like an island with a water hose or something, like a little water gun for your... I don't know, you had to go clean the island of... I don't know what the hell we were doing in that game. It was Super Mario 4 Advance. Okay. Yeah, Super Mario 4 Advance and it was Super Mario Bros. 3. But what, did anybody ever play Super Mario Sunshine? Where you were on the island and you had to use your water gun to like, you had a water jet pack and you had to help clean the island. There was two games from my past that I always wanted to beat and I never beat them. And they were back from when I was married and one was uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. We beat that last year and uh from where my old safe was and the other one was super mario sunshine what's up peter i heard super mario sunshine was one of those games like you're either into it or you're not into it and i don't know what that means that's a good game too i always wanted an hd mortal i always wanted an hd uh remaster of all stars let me flood i have no idea Hitman. Yeah, sometimes, um, Remo, it's, uh, Facebook's live streams just chew through, uh, they just chew through, like, if you're on a cell phone, it's hard to watch sometimes. That needs to be addressed in the new update of Mortal Kombat Mugen 2, man, the uppercut, uh, hit detection is just gone. Oh, Flood, Flood was the jetpack's name in Sunshine. Oh, I see. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to go to our bonus game here in a minute. Going to show you all this other bonus by Javi Lopez, which is in our link tree right now, too. Time has flown by on the stream. Well, thank you, Peter. I plan on doing so. I got my itty-bitty kitty right here. Cat is passed out watching Bob Ross. You doing good down here, buddy? <laughs> yeah, what's the question, Hitman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a uh, gamepad viewer. Oh, my heaven. So what came after Super Mario World? What was the Mario after that? Damn, this is going bad. Yeah, it's Gamepad Viewer. It's uh, You got to get it from the website Gamepad Viewer. And then after you do that, you have to uh, add it as a browser source to OBS. Mario 64. That's right. How could I forget that? Mario 64 is a game I never beat. Um, I always wanted to. That's actually the inspiration they're doing. Uh, dude, Simpsons Hit and Run is an excellent game, but it is nightmare fuel difficult. I mean nightmare fuel difficult on three specific levels. There's three levels that I about lost my mind on when we did the game. And I told everybody when we got to them, if you look up, if you Google the hardest levels on Simpsons Hit and Run, the very last level is stuff out of video game lore for its difficulty literally the last level is absolutely stuff of video game lore and uh there's two other levels on simpsons sit and run that are wild hard i mean difficult mario how was that chris i gave my version away can you put that was there like widescreen stuff on that chris oh okay, we're done. Got him. Now, don't forget tomorrow, Legends, we're doing the Mortal Kombat jacket drawing at the end of the stream, too, as well as our console drawing. Oh. We got him. Fight. I enjoyed Echo the Dolphin. Look at this collision detection, man. I enjoyed Echo the Dolphin. I thought Echo was a fine game. I can speed run the first five levels of Echo the Dolphin, too. After that, don't ask me for nothing because I can't get that far. Johannes, welcome to the show. Greetings and a massive hello. If you go to my YouTube channel, you will find that I actually have a YouTube video of, or no, 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 Twitch. If you go to my Twitch channel, you will see that I have a video of uh, Ed Boone breaking the glass on NBA Jam. Welcome to the machine. Yeah, I made it to the last level on Sonic, on uh, Echo, but that was with cheat codes and such. Yeah. 
Sonic or Echo was insane. The uh, if you ever watch speedruns of Echo the Dolphin, that game is nuts. I'll tell you what, we can take a look at Echo the Dolphin as a bonus today if you want. Is Arthur an Ardvark? I don't remember what that's from, but I would say yes. Mm -hmm. Stop. Nice, Adam. That sounds fun. Terry, how long? Man, there's some stuff in Mario 64 that I saw later in the game where I was like, ooh. Ooh. It looks kind of rough. Oh, nice, Raymond. What's up, Bernaco? We were wondering when you were going to get here, sir. Welcome to the show. All right, Legends, that is Mortal Kombat Trilogy by Javi Lopez. We're going to check out this ending, and we're going to bonus, boot up our bonus game, which is a different game by Javi Lopez. It is a Mortal Kombat 2 variant. A absolute gem. You can change the icon to whatever you like. You can change it to an arcade stick, uh, different things. You can actually download custom ones, too. Um, I never got that really working right but you can download like a super nintendo controller and all that jazz all right so this is uh the other game you never played dreamcast echo it's very very different very different so this is a mortal kombat 2 version by the same creator javi lopez this is i believe was his christmas edition of mortal kombat 2 recently so you might have some christmas stages on this game yo let's go oh he's got her on here holy crap uh, does he have extra characters, secret characters? He does. Holy crap. Wonder who that is. Hmm. Is this Ermac? This looks, this looks like Ermac. Work in progress? All right. Do the short tower for time. Hyperstone Heist? Uh, does anybody remember what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was called over in... There was a version of Hyperstone Heist. Oh, it's Sector. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I have the... Crap, I don't have it. Ebony, thank you for the flowers. I appreciate that. It's the wrong guy. It's the wrong cat. It's the wrong cat. All right, this must be Ermac here. This must be Ermac right here. That's what I was weak. Hero Turtles. Oh, no, not that. But you're, you're right. But there was... Uh, what I meant to say, there was an alternate name for uh, the Hyperstone Heist in Japan or Europe. Um, there was an alternate name. It was Revenge or Return of the Shredder. There we go. That's what I was looking for. No, it's not an alternate name. That's it. Do I have the... I don't have the telekinesis. It was a version they had over there. It had a little bit darker colors on the characters for the turtles, and it was a little bit different all the way around. It wasn't different. It was just a, like a, their, their colors are a little bit different. There we go. Okay. Return of the Shredder in Japan. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, Return of the Shredder. I enjoy doing that version. Because Return of the Shredder was actually pretty sick. Yep, Return of the Shredder. You know, different little, little different color palette for. Uh... No, I remember bashing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three movie because I didn't think it was that good at the time. I, I remember thinking Shredder's voice sounded creepy and crazy on that game or on that movie. Shredder didn't sound to me right at all. Splinter on, on, uh, I just gotta Google it, DOA Hitman. It, they're out there, they're free to download, but I couldn't figure it out, man. It's kind of involved. Well, like, you can get, like, a custom at any, like, Super Nintendo pad or something like that. I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Look up Super Nintendo controller for gamepad viewer to probably pull it up. Does the MK Realm have a cause? Yes. Uh, we were going to be doing Locks of Love Charity this year where everybody on the page could come together and help donate our hair together to a good cause at the end of the year, but we did not. Uh, I don't think anybody was interested. It's still in the Discord. If anybody wants to jump on board with that, though, it is in the Discord. 
this. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh my gosh. There we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fight. Not Shredder. Splinter. Splinter is what I meant to say. Splinter is what I meant to say. Back Sonic. Splinter's voice in that in the third one. Um, if you listen to Splinter and Shred Teenage TMNT one and TMNT two, Splinter's voice is very like. Splinter's voice is very weak sounding in the third movie. I felt like he sounded kind of. Oh, shit. We'll never escape this, no matter what we do. Yeah. Welcome back, Andrew. Okay, hold on. How are the duck was built? Oh, for fuck's sakes, man. Now I'm stuck in the corner where I'll never be able to escape. Fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yo, these games. The, the AI is just so... I just don't even know what to say. It's just so broken to the computer side that I didn't even fucking go up diagonally. Oh, I was about to say. The computer's just so broken to the uh, AI for the computer side. It's just baffling. Like, he's going into full... It's unbelievable. I'm taking advantage of him going into his special moves right there to just destroy him. Yo, welcome back, drugs. How you doing today? Welcome into the show. Like, see, they can throw projectiles before the round starts. Like, this is just... Nope, nope. We got easy fatalities on? No? We don't. Sucks. So some of these have uh Oh was it? I haven't seen Howard the Duck in a very long time. I've only seen Howard the Duck like once. Don't forget that Mortal Kombat jacket drawing is gonna be tomorrow legends. That's gonna be for you star centers or top three star centers throughout the month on the stream. I'm just gonna go through this month and we're drawing a number between one through thirty-one, indicating every day this month we go back and we look at the top three star centers from whatever stream we draw. We draw a number between one through three. Same rules apply for the console drawing, except the console drawing is for each and every one of you. That sent stars this month. There we go. So this is Javi Lopez's Mortal Kombat 2 Christmas edition. You will see some uh, holiday stages in here. Yeah, 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 we still got that. I was seeing if I can jump kick. We got sudden fire. It's actually a good move. You do max damage out pretty low in this game. 51% uh, max damage does... Uh, 51 max damage does kind of suck. Interesting. Imagine if Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit is probably already in Mugen, just not converted to Mortal Kombat. You pretty much have about anybody you can imagine in Mugen. As far as I know, I've seen characters in Mugen that are freaking... You can get the Windows 98 con... I, you can get the Windows 98 icon to fight uh, the Windows XP icon in, in Mugen. I mean, you can, you can do about anything you want to with Mugen sprites. As long as there's an existing sprite out there, Mugen creators can do whatever they want. It's actually pretty fascinating. And this has taken a giant leaps forward from, uh, I mean, giant leaps forward. Hang on. Oh, really? That's strange. But this is taking giant leaps forward in the last four years, last two years especially. Mugen is getting very close to like with the time and the effort that can be put into these games now to make them completely like polished, it's insane. We're even playing this. This is an old project and it is super polished. Super polished. What's up, Brian? Welcome into the stream. Greetings and hello. I welcome you to today's Mortal Kombat show, you legend. Burn him up. No. All right. Here we go. No. Finish. 
I had to remember real quick. Back forward, forward, hold high kick, back forward, forward, let go of high kick. What's up, Edmar? How you doing, buddy? No context, Mugen on Twitter will show you how insane Mugen can get. Yo, for real, can you send me a link to that on my Facebook page? What's up, Brian? How you been, my brother? Now, this is Human Rain from uh, Mortal Kombat 2, which is a sprite we never saw exist. It's pretty cool to see in Yuga. Man, there's some, there's some, uh, there's some uh, new adult stuff in Yugen that I have tried to make sure I don't accidentally put on the channel. But I tell you what, whoever's in charge of that stuff is really good at animating. I'll put it that way. Um, I've just, from what I've seen, because I did have to do some research, I have to filter through and sort through to make sure I don't accidentally put any of that stuff in my games. But yo, look at this cat. I gotta look at her fatality. Hey, let's go, Edmar, good stuff. Oh, we got Red Scorpion out here. Let me see something here. Fatality, four deck. Okay, now if you do that at the right time, it'll restand and give a burn on that burn effect. Oh, it's Angry Scorpion from this morning. Barry, that was your request from yesterday, too. Don't forget to get your character request. And today, one of you will get your character selected for an offline tower for tomorrow. Go mm. that. Excellent. What's up, Jeremy? As you come in, don't forget to drop a like on the stream. Brian, you just missed Cabal a little bit ago. I'll have to go check out that uh, Twitter remo. Hello, Christina. Welcome into the stream. How are you feeling today? This is a tough level. All right, tough Shao Kahn on this game. That was fun to do too, Terry. That was one of my, well, was one of my quick uh, knockout videos where I'm able to just knock it out on the first shot. Also, like, sometimes when I mention about Cyber Smoke and Human Smoke and stuff like that, the reason I remove them from uh, certain games that I play entirely is because, like, I select how those towers look. Like, if I don't like how a match went or something like that, like, I'll, I'll restart the tower. Like, I'm real specific. Like, I don't know if anybody noticed that double flawless this morning, but that double flawless went kind of hard. The actor. Oh, you're saying hi to Brian? GG's. All right. Anybody snacking on anything for dinner out there tonight? As we get ready for dinner? Or as we get ready for Easter? Yeah, Cat watching Bob Ross is uh, loving it. Cat just enjoys that show. Shadow Priest can be a little spicy. I don't know what version is used on here. Yeah, funky man. Cat's loving Bob Ross. Kick. Chips and salsa. Notice that he won't trade Liu Kang in MK3. Yes, chips and salsa sounds amazing. Essentially, he is an angry chicken, Edmar. I wouldn't. So, if we do animalities in Mortal Kombat One, what do you think the characters should turn into? Like, what do you think Sub Zero should turn into? What do you think? Like, if we had animalities, what would some of these characters turn into, like Omni-Man or Peacemaker? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if we can get animalities for some of these characters. Oh, nice. You're about to make a burrito, or is that baby formula, or is that a chocolate bar? Yeah, that's a Harakiri. But that's, uh, what could they give us, though? Like, I mean, you got to think about it. If we did, if we did get hard, if we got animalities in Mortal Kombat 1... We got some characters that have... Oh, Burrito. Ooh, that sounds amazing. We got some characters that would be great for animalities. Like Scorpion could turn into a Scorpion. Lee May could turn into a Panda. Okay. Natara could turn into a Bat. But, like, what about Peacemaker? What about Omni-Man? I mean, there, there's some left-field character. What about Ashra? There's some left-field characters. I don't know how they'd be. You know what I mean? Like, 
I genuinely wonder. Let me put some hot sauce on your burrito. You're not gonna feel nothing, buddy. That might be damage. Peacemaker could be an eagle. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Peacemaker could be an eagle. Okay. I see it. I see it. Uh. Omni Man. He could. What's what's an annoying animal? Omni Man that to be something annoying. Be like a hard bark or something. Realm burritos. Uh, like Luke Kang, he could be a, Luke Kang is dragon in Mortal Kombat One would be great. Have it could turn into a hyena. I could see it. How would y'all feel if they brought in animalities and they charged you individually for animalities? I did the math on that a while back. So how many characters do we have in that game? Twenty four. If they charge you ten dollars in animality, it'd be two hundred forty dollars per person that bought Mortal Kombat One to get every single animality. He can turn into a Chia Pet. Okay, I dig that. Now, this does have cool Mortal Kombat 2 aesthetics on it. Let me see something here. I gotta check my PlayStation Classic while we look at this ending. Reptile... I kind of think Reptile's in him. His fatality kind of lends us to looking like what I think animals would look like. I'd like to see Reptile turn into maybe... If, I guess a frog? Is that the best? Hang on. Chris, it might be a godsend that your thing got sent back because I might have to take off one game on it because I think it's not. I think this extra game is going to make it overload and the game isn't even that good that I put on it. What's up, my friend Tranville? Welcome into the show. Greetings and a massive hello. So this is Mortal Kombat 2 by Javi Lopez. This is a really interesting game. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is boot up the PlayStation Classic just so you all can take a look at this. And we're going to take a quick look at some bonus material. There we go. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hope your day is going very, very well. But I did think about that. That would be a... Uh... Oh, Godzilla, that's actually a genius idea. But I did think about that. They could potentially bring in, they could potentially bring us, you know, that whole setup of animalities. And they could be like, well, which animality are you going to get? Like, it's all about marketing. And if they did it, if they did it the right way, man, they could market us. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, you see Taki twitching. Now we're done with this booting up. Let me get my controller off the screen for you legends. Oh, I did that wrong, did that wrong. Close, there we go. I wanted to see if this is working because otherwise I got to make an adjustment. Is it gonna work today? Hell yeah. That's good news. That's good news, it's working, I think. As long as this works, like I haven't played this game yet. Um, You got Double Toads, Battle, du Double Toads? That's not a game. Battletoads, Double Dragon, Beats of Rage. I don't know what that is. Double Dragon Reloaded Alternate. Um, this one is Outworld Assassins XL. Very difficult game. Defenders of the Realm, great game. Uh, Rescue Palooza is a great game. This is a game I highly recommend checking out, but I want to see if Karate Kid works. So this is a fan remake of Karate Kid on the PlayStation Classic. Just jumping into some random bonus stuff here. Oh, snap. Now, a fun fact about it, we got to skip some of this. Go to systems options. See if you can find any cheats or anything disabled by... Okay, disabled. That's good stuff. Uh, don't stay on this menu music very long because if you stay on this menu music very long, it's going to throw off the stream. It will actually like throw you off air. I don't know why and I can't guarantee it's this game, but uh, it does sometimes do that. So, alternate enter to toggle full screen. Right. Uh, up. All right, bonus levels. All right, GG's. So this is supposed to be a remake of the... Uh, oh, look at this cat. What's this? The hell's going on? Super Karate Kid? Did I just hit a special? What the fuck? Am I playing the game? Or is this a demo? I don't even know what the hell's going on. Okay, there we go. How do I kick? Okay. 
Oh, I see. I see. All right, get, get fucked, buddy. Oh, did you see that? So this is a remake of the uh, entry uh, of uh, the NES Karate Kid. Just a quick bonus here. We're checking some of these out. This is on the PlayStation Classic that we're going to be giving away to somebody tomorrow. I feel like after uh, some of these... Son of a bitch. Oh, you... Bitch. Got him. So, I've never played... I'll tell you a secret to NES uh, Karate Kid. Does anybody know when Cobra Kai is coming out? Get that... Get, get wrecked, buddy. Oh, I can jump over and do this stuff? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Wait, I gotta do it for the jump one more time. Any fatalities on there? Oh, that'd be sick, Mark. I got punched in the crotch. Low blow for the death. Oh, semifinal round. We're still going. Hold on. Can you not lose this? Is it like the original? Can I go crane stance? I'm trying to go crane kick. He won't let me. There we go. All right, now we can start the actual game. So this is where you move in. Oh, the final round. There was only three of these, right? Is that... Cr it's Johnny. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I got hit by his head. That's no good. So, Chris, this is on your... Uh... We get another life? All right, we got it. We got it. Let's do this one more time. One more time. Gotcha, bum. Oh, he just hit me with his forehead. Damn, he's beating the shit out of me. I don't think there's much I can do here. Happy out. Oh, that's nice, Ebony. I like that saying. There we go. We just won the tournament, Legends. So now's where the game actually starts up. Stage two is the actual fight. So this is actually pretty nice. Uh, okay. I I'm just trying to get a feel for the controls. This dude just did massive damage to me. So you do maintain... Let me see something if they left this on here. They did not. So the original... Oh, this is going to be nightmare fuel. The original Karate Kid, as long as you got... Um, absolutely hit, man. All right, I've had enough of that. You can check it out. Uh, we'll check it out another time. So that's Karate Kid. Now, the original Karate Kid, the trick to beating it was you had to stay. Uh, there's also Mortal Kombat games in here. If you get this, Chris, and it doesn't work or load into open bore right here, what you have to do is unplug the PlayStation Classic and plug it back in. Because um, yesterday this didn't work for some reason, and I think it's because I added this last game. Uh, this is an amazing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. I just want to show you real quick on this PlayStation Classic. This thing's packed to the moon. Yes, continual nut punching is absolutely brutal. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, yes, you got to watch out for those. Let's see. This is by Merso again. Same creator. This is the game that I actually think is arguably better than the uh, the new game. So you have the brand new Turtles game that they just released. But this was actually pretty sick. Uh, this is Rescue Palooza, and it's a full-on fan experience. Mark, thank you for the 500 stars. My friend, you're giving me butterflies. Ermac butterflies. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate the love. What's up, Junior? JR? JJ, excuse me. I can't read. I'm going bonkers. So I just wanted to make sure that this worked. Uh, this is a training level. Defeat the enemy while well, forward. You can do it. It's just a training level on this. I want to make sure this is all running and operating. These are Beats of Rage games. It's a fan-made game. Oh, I got to beat him by going forward, forward attack. And it's really nice because they're not on your uh, PC. You don't have to worry about running these on PC. Game Boy Advance was a little fire system back in the day. Game Boy Advance was a banger. Oh, jump forward. Jump! I like how he says you have my support. That's so motivational. If you do listen to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 and you listen to Splinter's voice, he sounds so... I, 
it's such an odd voice. He's like, hello, turtles. Like, it doesn't sound like anything like what Splinter sounded like in the previous game, in the previous movies. Once you beat this, this little tutorial level, then you can move on. Secret jump attack. Oh, crap. I got to do the jump attack. That. So the two buttons together. This game's actually really good. And it's actually very difficult when you manage to get through it. Down an attack. All right. Oh, I see. There you go. The secret of the Karate Kid on NES, I'll show you. It's hard to get it, but what you got to do is you got to get two enemies behind you. Oh, you guys special? Oh, Lord, it's getting hard now. Yeah, it was Johnny. Oh, there we go. We got it. I kind of wish you could skip this after you beat the game. You have done well, my students. See, that sounds more like Splinter than Splinter sounds in Teenage Ninja Turtles 3, the movie. Let me turn this up just a little bit. Then you do get the full-on intro like this. <laughs> it is. Now, now, the thing about this is you unlock a whole ton of characters in this game, too. As you go through... Like, this game's got mad replayability because you actually have to unlock, like, 30 characters. And it's free-roaming, too. So you can go... You want to go to... This is one of the last levels. This is where I got stuck at. The further you go down... Let's go Dimension X right out the gate. Just show you this level. Yeah, we only got four turtles. So you get to unlock, like, I got to go with Raph. Raph's like me. He's very emotional. He's very honest. And he's a very loving, loving individual. It's going out to Allison. Allison, thank you for the fireworks. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for the 50 stars. I appreciate you. Thank you again. So this is, uh, this, 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 this... For a fan game, uh, and you get to go backwards too. I forgot about that. I thought this was pretty sick. You go backwards in this game. So you can go backwards, forwards. These levels are very inspired. Uh, there's, you can ride in different machines. You can get into a, uh, you can get into like a machine. Oh, Brian with the 50 star bomb. Thank you, legend. Oh, these guys kind of sucked. Oh, you could drive that. That's what I forgot. Yeah, you can get in one of these things and drive it around and float around and attack these cats. I need to get... There it is. Yeah, so I can get in this now. Like, look at this fan game. This is insane. Brian, thank you very, very much for the support on the live show. This is going out to you. Gracias. Ebony, this is for you. I have a toy. Felix the Cat, the movie? I don't remember Felix the Cat, the movie. Thank you, you two. I appreciate that. Ebony and Brian, that's going out to you. Ebony with another... Oh, we got a Star Party active. I didn't see that. Let's shoot the dinosaurs. Uh, do I have a special? Oh, yo, that was badass. Are oh, they turning into little Krangs? Okay. Ebony, thank you again. But yeah, this is so this game is definitely something to look into. Now, when you're done playing it, you gotta go to end game to show you how to operate this. Ebony, I have something to eat off the grill. Thank you very, very kindly, as I'm gonna be rebooting this right here. Not that. I thank you, and the alien babies thank you. What's up, Kai? These are our bonus games. Allison, thank you for the 500 stars. Appreciate that. Ebony with another 50. Let's do this star party, my friend says. Let me show you the one Mortal Kombat game that somebody asked about earlier. I, I really want to test this open bore system because this is new tech to me, and I had an issue with it yesterday on the live show. If you go back to yesterday's show, you will find that. Allison, thank you for the intense 500 stars. Appreciate that. Ebony, that is so awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. Whoa. Yes, Mark. Mark, you've chosen wisely. Thank you much. And Ebony, the need, the need for speed. Thank you very, very much. Now, this is the game that I definitely recommend you do not, if you live stream it, this is the game that I learned. Don't leave it on the main menu for like more than five seconds. Whatever this music is right here that you're listening to, whatever this music is, somebody let me know in the chat. Whatever this music is, is the music. It will. Star Party. 
It will end the whole thing. The whole show goes shabam. Hey, Ebony, thank you. If I could you just up this beer and grab, grab a passing, passing star and hold it in my, my hand. <laughs> so these are our bonuses. Now I got to close this. This is cropped all the bojangles here. That's my fault. I didn't realize this was cropped uh, so bad. So it is a little goofy. Michael, thank you very, very much. This is going to show you the full game. <gasps> so much better. Michael, this is going out to you. It's something you don't see every day. Yo, Ebony making it a party in here? Thank you, Ebony. Shout out to you. And shout out to Uncle Phil, who was the voice of... Uh... Yeah, this is the game one of our viewers mentioned earlier. Yo, Mark. Oh, we hit the star party challenge. Yo, let's go. Thank you, you legends. Hey, we got to start getting ourselves accustomed to... Uh, we got to get ourselves accustomed to... Uh, appreciate you, Legends. Thank you for all the love and support. About some Tekken 8? I don't want to embarrass you live on Tekken 8, sir. Honestly, honestly, that's not the problem. Uh, the problem... You will probably destroy me, Quincy. Yo, hold on one second. Thank you for helping us hit that star party. Now it's a party. Now it's a party, ladies and gentlemen. Man, Mark, thank you very much. I got to hit you with the greatest gift you can give somebody. Sue Howe with the flowers. Win. Ebony, this is for you as well for those 50 stars. A little Kid Thunder saying thank you. Kid, kid, kid. I got I to gotta do that video. You can get stuck on this um, a couple times. Now, there's another game on here I can turn on a download link for you. What's up, buddy? Good to see you back with us, Dean. I don't know what happened with that, buddy. I'm glad you're back with us. So Dean had a problem where he couldn't see us on Facebook uh, for a while. I don't know how that occurred, Dean, but I'm glad you're back with us. Now, buddy. No disassemble. Yo, that's a movie. I'm not going to lie. I'm real glad they've left that alone. You know what I saw recently, though? You know you can get... This is a really fun game. It really is. Let me turn on a bonus download link for y'all, and I'll show you another game that uh, you can grab today for yourself. I just have to make sure I have it. It is right there. So check the link tree right now, and you will find Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm, which is a wild Mortal Kombat game. It's just like this. Short Circuit is iconic. Uh, you got a roll? What's my special? Oh, is that it? I like the roundhouse kick. You can run in this game. You can beat people's faces off. He's got freezes. He's got a lot of specials. Mm. You can call in a tag team partner. Now, this isn't the open board. Like I say, if you want to go ahead and end this, all you have to do is end that right there. Yeah, this was your uh, DOA Hitman. This was yours. Hit start on that. Full House? Yeah. I want to see Fuller House, but I don't remember. Uh, I didn't have... Where was it? Fuller House was on something that I didn't have. Um, so this is the game that I just put in the download section for you, Legends, too. So it's in the link tree as we speak, as this boots back up, which I'm glad to see it's working today. It wasn't working yesterday. Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm. This is actually a very cool game. And uh, the download link is in the link tree right now. Classic 80s movie scent? What was that? Want to guess an old school 80s classic that got I got free off Amazon? Hint, think of the sound. Wee wo, wee wo, wee wo. Oh, I should know this, man. I don't know if you can play this on Windows 11. I just know that this game's freaking awesome. Um, there's three versions of this game. You're playing through the first Mortal Kombat tournament right now. The way this is lined up is pretty sick. Ashley, hello, welcome to the show. Got Fujin? Why is he on here? But you play with the characters from Mortal Kombat 1, and you're actually playing through the story of Mortal Kombat 1, essentially. Now, this is running on the PlayStation Classic, so it just runs like a dream. But uh, you can play this on PC. <laughs> Ashley, how's the day going? This is a fun game, too. Can we play some Mortal Kombat 1? I can play Mortal Kombat 1. I want to show you all some sauce with, uh... I don't have my controller over here. I'm going to have to play it on PC. 
I think of Wee Woo. No, okay, I thought that was an animal house. Um, it was way off. Oh, War of the Worlds? Is Crossplay working on MK1? Yeah, Crossplay works on MK1. It's wild. Boy, it work for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It works for rank, too. Now, you do have a. There we go. Wait, can I run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So you got the run and fire knockoff. You can knock their head off with that, too. You get them down on enough health. There you go. Like that. I haven't played much Shallow Monks co op mode. I know it's pretty difficult. Uh, let me see how this loud is. How this loud is. How loud this is, is what I was trying to say. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Nah, it looks good. <sighs> Chicken curry sounds amazing. Right, look at the heads land on the ground. Yo, that was sick! I'm telling you, man, for fan games, like, they, they, they started to really do some stuff. What does this do? That's my block button? Okay. Can't remember my finish, my fatality. The new Shaq Fu was very similar to this. Ring, you can jump on MK1. You want to play with him? Quincy, you want to play on MK1? Now you're coming up on your boss battle here. I'm trying to remember how to do the. Uh... Oh, yeah, we got to try that, dude. <laughs> how sick is that? The recent hints? Okay, uh, it's some kind of a siren. Yeah, that's why I thought it was. Uh... Oh, bro, that's why. Oh, oh, oh. Was it one of the uh, Police Academy movies? I've never seen a Police Academy movie. Hey, Jay, what's up, buddy? I have never seen a Police Academy movie. I want to. I want to. Now, these, en these enemies uh, come at you kind of crazy. There's a lot of these uh, bonkers characters. This is kind of how Shaq Fu's remake was. Uh, it was uh, basically you stop on a stage and you have like a whole army of enemies. Yeah, that's actually a lot of fun. I like that right there. The roundhouse, the, uh, that flip kick. I'm trying to remember how to do my special move. He's got the, the fire that he can do. I think it's uh, L1 or R1. You're going to need it when you get to your bosses. Now, the link to this game, uh, Chris, it's on your PlayStation Classic. Uh, but yours, it plays just right off of it. If you want to play this game for yourself, though, you can play this on PC, and the link is in our link tree right now. Uh, stop, stop. Getting kind of beat up now. No, I'm, yeah, Michael Winslow wasn't the, uh... Who knows what Family Matters was, uh... Wasn't Family Matters based off of the couple that was in, uh... Oh, what was that show about he was on? Perfect Strangers? Weren't they a couple in Perfect Strangers? If I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is the boss. You're fighting, like, Super Monk or something. Master Monk, right. Master Monk's a big pain in the butt. So save your fatality for Master Monk. And, uh, it was from... Yeah, 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 for Perfect Strangers. That's what I thought. You're gonna be working your finger down on this uh, fight here. But you gotta get these cats down. You gotta beat up Master Monk over here. There's a lot of these enemies. Yeah, I seen ten. Th you remember that show back in the day? Uh, my ten kids. Oh, what was it? It was a show. Oh, my. What the hell was it? It was like my ten daughters or my ten kids or something like that. My life with ten kids. This is this is a TV show from like the early or late '80s. What's up, Randy? Oh, really? Harry, we're in the same place as... Oh, Larry Balky? That's right. That. Eight is enough? No, I don't think that was it. That sounds familiar. I remember that. Okay, we got that dude all dead. All right, now we just fight this bomb. Now, they will... Uh, he does respawn right here. Fuck these enemies uh, respawn. John Kate plus eight? Nah, it was an old... Uh, it's an old show about. It might have been eight is enough. But it was an old show about a dad that had like a bunch of daughters. Finish him. There we go. There we go. Finish him. Tell one. So that's your special move that you do. 
Octo Mom. No, I ain't got the uh, just the ten of us. Hitman got it. It's just the ten of us. That was it. So that's the fatality. Oh, this is my first time testing this on this. Uh, it seems to hang right here. I don't know if that's actually a problem with the game. Yeah, it seems like it seems to hang. Lost your job as an elevator operator? Oh, that's crazy. All right, let me show you all this. Y'all got me talking about, uh, about we have to go to... Y'all got me on Karate Kid. We're showing off. This is going to one of you viewers tomorrow, too. So this was a test to see if these all would work on that. Um, obviously, do I remember who? Heath Ledger? Yes. Absolutely. Who could forget Heath Ledger? Absolute legend. Talk, did you turn your show off, bud? Use those stars. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, Taki turned off the internet again. What did you do? Auto rotate? Oh, what you did, cat. So Taki will pull down on the tablet and then start hitting buttons. But you know how when you pull your, your thing down on your uh, phone, how you can turn off like your internet and all that stuff? Taki keeps hitting buttons on this that I don't know what Taki's hitting. And uh, I'm actually going to be doing something for y'all, Hitman, over... Uh, I want to set something up across all platforms for next month, so I'm working on that. It'll be through the uh, Attacking the Con of the Realm link. You'll be able to get in on that. So you see that popping up over there. I got to keep stop hitting that. There we go. So when you're going through this Dreamcast, I did put Mortal Kombat Gold on this. That's going to be absolutely sick. So what I mentioned about the NES Karate Kid, I just want to show you all this because anybody can beat Karate Kid. Now, I'm probably going to get destroyed and frustrated at first, but the trick is, is to get two enemies on the screen and get them behind you, and then you can just freely walk forward on the game. You don't even have to fight. It's unbelievable. Uh, Karate Champ. Was it under The Karate Kid? I hate games like that. MK4 with ultra-realistic graphics. If it's not on here, I got to put it on here. I can't see it's not on here, though. Yep, it's under The Karate Kid, I bet. There it is. Yep, there we go. So this is going to be where if you get two enemies behind you, you don't have to worry about a darn thing. Because they will stay behind you the entire time. And, uh, let's go. I think on this game, if you, uh, yeah, it's Taki like the chip. Taki was, uh... There we go. Taki was a spinoff of Tasha and Smokey, which were my last two sister cats put together. I think we just won the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mean to boast and brag out here. Oh, never mind. It's not over yet. Why is Street Fighter 2 an improvement over Street Fighter 1? Well, who says it is? Yo, all right, here we go, here we go. So, the trick to this is to get these guys behind you. You need to get two enemies behind you. Now, if you get two enemies behind you, you're in good shape. It's tricky, tricky to do, but it is doable. Let's see if I get them behind me. No, that ain't gonna work. I'm just trying, like, I don't remember where, okay, so there's one. That was the first area you get one. This is always a fun level right here. Close, 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 close. So keep an eye for when you get two enemies behind you. As long as you keep them back there, that's all you need to do to be a, a legend at this game. So there's one. There's one. Hang on, hang on, I gotta pause. Uh, imagine a remake of Bill and Ted. Looking forward to dying eggs tonight. That sounds amazing, Randy. Y'all want to put some Easter eggs in your uh, in the head? Oh fuck me! I'm gonna die. It's all bad. It's all fuck. It's all bad words. Bad words. Come back. I'm gonna die. Oh, it went away. Play Shinobi. Ah, Shinobi was by all pot last. Nah, Shinobi was a great game. It was just hard as hell. 
Let me see if I can do this. Can I jump over him? I'm trying to remember where you go to get the two enemies behind you. There, there's a specific area. You can do it on every level. Oops. Don't do what I did right there. Dying Egg sounds amazing. Uh, no, this does not have Ultimate World Combat Trilogy. Ultimate World Combat Trilogy is a weird game to emulate because I can try it on this. Ultimate World Combat Trilogy requires a specific emulator to operate because it's a, uh, like a 16 megabyte cartridge or like a 32 or something like that. The swing and Hammer stage. Now, I didn't ever understand this uh, as a kid. Am I supposed to duck? What is that? I think here's where I can jump over these guys, maybe. No, I can't. So there's one behind us. Oh, wait, wait, there was the other one. There was, okay, that's it right there. Right there, you can do it. Right there, you got two enemies that can go behind you. I might actually restart this level and do that. Once you get two enemies behind you, there we go. That's it. So from this point on, no other enemies are going to respawn on this game. As long as we keep them behind us, we are GG's legends. They're throwing fruit at us and stuff, so we got to kind of keep a good clip ahead of them. So that's the secret to this game. If you want to play Karate Kid on NES, this is how you do it and beat the game. Look how much easier the entire game becomes. Yo, what's up, Clay? Where's Clay? How come I can't see Clay? Yo, what's up, Clay? Welcome to the show. Greetings and hello. I didn't see Clay in the chat if he's in here. So that is how you beat the game. True Lies on SNES. Is Clay in here? If I miss Clay coming in, forgive me. This is where the level really takes it up a notch. So even with two guys behind you, it's still pain in the ass. You all this bullcrap flying at you. It can be very, very difficult to keep the enemies behind you on this level. There's one. All right. Keep him down. Appreciate y'all hanging out for this little bonus. This is our PlayStation Classics. Gonna be going to one of you amazing viewers tomorrow. Oh, shite. Let's go in here. Swinging hammer stage. Should I hold down to sidestep it? Definitely was doing that wrong. That was 100% the wrong. I do not remember picking pick, pick Pinocchio video game. Yeah, I remember Small Brawl, uh, Hitman. I remember Small Brawl. That game was difficult to me. I thought Small Brawl was a difficult game. Yo, what's up, Jerome? I'm getting actually cooked by this. So you have to basically, like, strong arm yourself forward on this and keep yourself ahead. I'm not going to go in there. We almost got one enemy behind us. Go. Keep going, butthead! Okay, there we go. Fuck, there we go. So, basically, this is the whole game. Jerome, how you doing? I remember Kingdom Hearts, absolutely. I wish and I regret. Um, Somebody give me a test comment. Oh, no, it's still working. Okay. Yo, thank you, Tony. Shit. So, as long as we keep those enemies behind us, that's it. We're good to go. We're GG's on this whole level. It's a win level, so be ready to get hit by a bunch of nonsense. Uh, I'm going to go in here. Chopsticks, fly catch. This is fun. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Legend. Legend. You son of a bitch, come here. We got two more to go. Killer Instinct's an amazing game. I think Killer Instinct is also on this. Uh, we can take a look at Killer Instinct. That's one full shit. We died every which way on that. So we got two more lives left. The, li the, the stage after this is the next to last level, I believe. The knockback on this game was wild. That's why you got to get through this and get these enemies knocked out as soon as you can. Killer Instinct's a gem. That was close. There's a Virtual Boy port of, um, I don't, Sancho. There was a Virtual Boy port of Street Fighter that was made by uh, some fans of Street Fighter. Oh, crap. 
So if you've ever played, oh shit, I think that's it. If you ever played Street Fighter, there's a Street Fighter hack. What's up, Christopher? Now, when you're done, you're gonna hang on. I'm gonna show you all this. So, mm, let's see. When you're done with this, you're just gonna hit Start and Select. It brings up the menu. You're just gonna go to Quit Retro Arch, and that's how you exit it. You go back here, you hit Circle, and it goes right back to your main menu. So there's a lot of different things in this. This is this month's giveaway item, and I'm excited to see who wins this. Chris got one of these last month, and these things are amazing. Uh, the Super Nintendo game I did not want to check. I didn't get a chance to check out yesterday. It was Mortal Kombat 2. I haven't played MK2 on Super Nintendo in a very long time, and I wanted to check it out. I remember it playing very difficult comparatively, and I just, there's a, uh, there's one more. Who's that character? Luke Anger Bruce Lee. Okay. I didn't know. So I guess there's some Soul Calibur influence on the new Tekken game. And do we have any viewers that want to play Mortal Kombat 1 real quick before I get done with this? Because I'm going to knock out some Mortal Kombat 2. This version, um, medium, all right, looks good. Let's jump into it, see how it goes. Munchie, you ever seen Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter on Sega Dreamcast? A you know, Virtual Boy port of, Mortal, of Killer Instinct would be cool. Uh, we'll go Scorpion. Check out these blurry pixels. Now you can pause right here too. So this was your pause area on the game. Alright Legends, let's see how bad we get our butt beat on this game. The Ultra Aggressive. No. This was a big deal back in the day because this was when it would, uh, this was the return, this was the debut of Blood on the Super Nintendo. Got right, Nintendo 64 MK? I got, what's up, Kenny? How you doing? I got Nintendo 64 MK, but y'all or whoever wins this, that's up to you to figure out the control setup. I couldn't do it. Damn, this game's fucking criminally hard immediately. It's harder than the fucking arcade version. Yep. Look at this collision detection. Eternal Champions is a good game. Uh, it's very difficult, but it's a good game. It's got its, it's, got its perks Round on it. Three, Not gonna lie. Fight. Come here. Jeez, bro, he just went through my jump kick. Come here. No! Anybody remember his fatality? For oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, we'll win this. It's just super janky. Oh, hello? Scorpion wins. Brock was a dude in this game. Does this Nintendo Scorpion. sound like the Amiga? I gotta get set up the Amiga version. Dez sent over the Amiga version for us to play and got some uh, tutorials, some steps for me to do, and I need to sit down and do that. The Amiga version of Mortal Kombat 1 is on my bucket list to play. This computer AI is fucking ridiculous. This was, uh... Absolutely. Can't be saying what I'm thinking out loud. I remember this. This is basically all you could win with this game. With sweeps. This is referenced in the Mortal Kombat movie. Which... Let me know in the chat. What do you expect for the new Mortal Kombat movie? What do you think for the new Mortal Kombat movie? You think it's gonna be good? Do you think it's gonna be worthless? You think Cole Young is gonna become really, really... Cool. This fucking collision detection is terrible. Other than yeah, jump kicks, repeated sweeps. Oh fuck. Finish him. The down four four high kick. Yeah, he's got that little strip move too. Yeah, absolutely. Why is Natara Flanderized in MK1? Flanderized? I've not heard that term before. Was Flanderized? Round one. Fight. I mean, they're making Foxter. That's fine. This is what it is, man. Like, 
I knew I had a hunch. I spoke on it for years. I never said what it was, but without getting into it, Mortal Kombat 1 kinda in its own way kinda is my greatest fear for the Mortal Kombat franchise. Fight. One day I'll do a video on what I mean by that, but 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 what my greatest fear was is that it would be influenced by Warner Brothers in a, in a large way, larger than what the NR... I, I think that... This is just me talk, thinking out loud. I think that NRS has great ideas, and I think NRS is a great development team, but I think at some level, they are now having to... And I blame some of Mortal Kombat Mobile's success for this, too. I just feel like somebody at Warner Brothers saw the billions that they made. Uh, not billions, but I feel like somebody saw the amount of money they made on Mortal Kombat Mobile, and they were like, how can we implement this in Mortal Kombat 1? Or, or, or recreate the amount of hours that people put into it or something. I don't know. I just feel like in its own way, Mortal Kombat 1 got influenced by MK Mobile a little bit. Could be wrong, though. Fight. Yo, Lovell. Getting absolutely destroyed out here, my guy. Hold on. Let's see if this arcade tactic works. Oh, shit. There we go. I always like that sound effect in this game. It made that little thump noise like flump. Daryl Sung is good at the uh, this version, the SNES version. I was always a Sega guy. I always felt that the SNES versions were a little stiff. MK1 was stiff as shit. But that wasn't the devs' fault. They there was they were rushed on that version. They were told to remove uh, the violence, like Naruto Ninja Council is a bonus. We're gonna have to tell me about that. I don't really know what Naruto Ninja Council is. It sounds amazing though. All right, since we're here and we've seen this version, I say we check out the Super N the uh, Sega Genesis version. Let's do a real quick cross reference and see what they look like. We're running out of time. So remember, Chris, this is how you operate this, homie. Uh, start and select brings up this menu, and then you go to quit retro arch. And that brings you back here. And then circle, just like on PlayStation, takes you back here where Sega Genesis. I haven't done one of this in a while. There it is. <laughs> uh, this will be neat. I haven't compared games before. We, we need to do this more. Let's go. There's your Tiny Toons game, Chris. I didn't know it was on Sega. So, Mortal Kombat 2, there we go. Tattoo Assassins, I think it has moves in it that I can't play. That was Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo. Now we're going to be taking a look at Super Nintendo, or the Sega Genesis version of Mortal Kombat 2. Like, it was cool, man. We used to get the same game back in the day, and they were completely different. Like, this is made by a different company, Pro, Acclaim, all this good stuff. Pop your phone up on a tripod. Let's do some cab for the people. I could try on my, uh... Oh, I don't know where my top of my... Dang it, man. I don't know where the top of my tripod is. Difficulty, default, very easy. I'm fine with that. Credits, 15. The game already knows. It's about to just sit on your skull. So, extra controls. This needs to be... Yo, this is, this is what we need to get. I need to get... Who wants to do the Sega Activator stream? We need to get a Sega Activator to hook up to the Sega Genesis and play because that's the thing that you put on the floor. There we go. That's the thing that you put on the floor and hook to your Sega Genesis and you'd like stick your arms and legs out and it would do the special moves. Ain't no way that worked. The blood is the same. Um, so what do y'all think of the sound effects? What do you think of the graphics? Graphics aren't as good, I don't think. Oh, why can I? Oh, this is all fucking jacked up. Oh, I gotta set up the controls real quick. Hang on. Now, Chris, if you gotta set up the controls, you're gonna hit start and select, and you're gonna go down to controls. Go to port one controls, and this is going to need to be the button A. This is going to need to be the button X. All you gotta do is remember where the uh, buttons were on the, uh, this is Z. This is, oh fuck, what the fuck? C, this would be Y, and this would be B. Excellent. Go back, save game remap file. That's good stuff. Bob, thank you. And then I think, resume. Bob, thank you very, very much. 
Oh, Bobby, that's classic. I remember that. Hey, Bob, this is going out to you, bud. I appreciate you dropping some stars on the interdimensional space kitties. Why people bash on that controller? I don't really know. BSG, what's up with you today? See, I felt like this was faster feeling, but it's completely different aesthetic. It looks like a different, like, complete package, doesn't it? Chris, man, I wish I could get set up on Fightcade and show you how to set that up, like, immediately. I wonder if I can set up my phone uh, anywhere to stream that, Chris. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Yo, that... Hey, Chris, being a cell phone streamer is super easy, man. I'm telling you, I miss the days being a cell phone streamer. We're late often now because I have to set up five platforms to go before we go live with thumbnails and you pop out chats to read chat and set up the overlay and, and have all this stuff, which is really cool, man. I love the process. But on cell phone stream... You just type out what you're doing. That's it. See, this feels like you can play it a little more playable. Like, it's not so uh, reinvented, Sue How. Yeah, I mean, they can do anything they want, Sancho. They could technically, uh, that's awesome, brother. Yo, DOA Hitman, cheers on that. Oh, no, the, the activator sucked. The activator was not good. The activator, Sega activator was not good. Yo, look at this going hard. It's kind of sick. This is kind of badass here. So, and uh, Chris, if you have any questions about setting up your controller on this stuff, um, it's easy. Just like, like the, the, the only problem I ever had was setting up the controller with the 64. The Nintendo 64 was brutal. Kenny, thank you for the 500 stars. I believe Eddie Guerrero is going to come say gracias for that. Oh, I know what I need to add on this, Chris. I need to add Mortal Kombat Unchained. I don't think that's on here, but uh, you do have PSP. PPSP? No, PSP, that's what it's called, right? Now, Jax is the dude on this game. All right, let's go. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, we can check out the 32X version of Mortal Kombat 2 if you want. You can do a little impromptu. Yo, thank you for coming in, dropping some stars on the party. We're going hard on the bonus games. All right, let's go ahead and close this. Let's go look at Mortal Kombat 2 on. Uh, let me quit Retro Arch. Yo, Kenny, be safe out there. Be safe out on the Saturday night, man. People are outside. Master System had a good version of Mortal Kombat 2 as well, I think. Do I have any? I, let me see if I have Mortal Kombat clone. I want to try to get this running. I don't. That sucks. I'll put one on there. If I had somebody that I could help set up this uh, controller for the Nintendo 64 stuff, I'd show it to you. Do I not have 32X on this? Oh, Chris, I got to put 32X on this, brother. I can add the 32X game on here. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy. We played Game Boy Mortal Kombat 2 the other day. Game Gear Mortal Kombat 2. Now that's where you really start to dive into the good times. Uh, these versions for being portable Mortal Kombat games, they really didn't have any business being as good as they were. But if you want a one-stop shop for all these classic retro games with good overlays and stuff like that, via Twitter? Well, thank you, my friend. I'm on the uh, tweet machine. I use Twitter like I should use all social media. I type out my tweet, I read the tweet, and then I read the tweet again, and then I delete everything I typed, and I log off Twitter. So this defaults to easy, all right? Interesting. Yo, this doesn't look bad at all. This actually looks pretty solid. Now, you only have two buttons. Uh, oh, look at this. Hold up. Okay, so that's a kick. What's this? Is this my punch? Okay. Look at this. This is not bad at all. This is actually low-key kind of cool looking. Uh, yes, no, I don't even know what that's on. I've never heard of that. Uh, you'd have to tell me more about that. 
What is Naruto Ninja Council? I have never heard of that, my friend. Listen to the fight sound effect. It sounds terrible. All right, can I get a bicycle kick? Can I get out of the corner? Nope. This is not bad at all. I played the crap out of this. YouTube, Media Fire, Google. Appreciate you, Joe. Yo, if I hit this dude with the dragon fade out, fade to oh stop. Yo, okay. Oh, he. No way. Hey, that's actually pretty pretty uh, savage there. Now, if you want to go check out the original Mortal Kombat 2, let's say you want to play Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade, the original. That's also on here. Again, start and select, go down to quit retro art circle. You can go over to. Yeah, these original ones were not bad, man. It made no sense that they were that good. Uh, Fuchu, thank you. Where is it at? It is under... It's under MAME. So this might require a little bit of setup. Now, Mortal Kombat 2, I'm going to be practicing this because me and Chris are going to be throwing down in the arcade cab here in a little bit. And uh, Chris, I'm going to be getting done here soon. I will be on with you before you know it. Remember Pit Fighter? Yeah. Pit Fighter was a good game. I don't know if I'd go, go that far, but there we go. I wish y'all could hear the cat snoring right now. The cat's actually snoring a little bit. Passed out and snoring like a champ. So this is the original Mortal Kombat 2. Now, let me see. Input. I gotta try the dip switch. Uh, dip switches. That's what I'm trying to hit right there. Dip switches. Mmm, that's not it. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. So, let me see something here. Is this got to be set up? No, looks good. Yeah, it does got to be set up. So, if you do need to set up controls for this, you're going to hit your L2 button. Go to input this game. And it's all set up. Button 1 hits A. Button 1 is going to be high punch. Button five is going to be your block button, I think. This might take you a second if you get here and you get caught up on this. Uh, this is Mortal Kombat 2, the arcade version. I didn't realize I was going to have to set this up like this. This might not uh, this might not work, because this takes a minute to set up the controls if you don't know what you're doing. Let me see this. This might be that. If I get this right, then we'll play this. If I don't get it right, then we're screwed. Let's try this. And there we go. All right, cross your fingers, cross your toes. Thank you, Sancho. I appreciate that. Expect no mercy. I've not heard of that. So far, so good. Oh, I got the block backwards. That's all right. So the second button is your uh, second button is your uh, block button. Now I know the audio is a little low on this. Um, turned up just a little bit. There we go. That's as loud as I can get it right now. I have to go into the dip switch setting and find the audio setting for it. But this is the original Mortal Kombat 2. So we've taken a look at how many versions now? Oh, crap. What do you think is the worst game of all time? What's up, Emerson? Uh, I was going to use the dip switch to get to the audio. You can turn the audio up. Oh fuck, where's the, oh fuck. Let me, let me show you. So what I had to do was go over here. This is uh, actually, let me go up. This is block. And this is high kick. There we go. That's fixed. And then once you do that, it's all set up. So it just takes a second to figure that out. But um, you can turn the volume up natively on the machine. Uh, when you get to that. Oh shit, she's going crazy. Like Raiden, now again, start and select will take, let's say you're playing the game, right? And you want to change games, whoever wins this, it's going to be a giveaway for tomorrow. You hit start and select at the same time, brings this up, close the content. And then you can go to quit retro arch. Just like that, easy peasy lemon squeezy.
All right, legends, I got to get wrapped up right there. It is getting late. I appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. This turned into a nice little bonus. We are eight likes away from 300 reactions on the stream, and we are over, over at three and a half hours. Holy Moses. Yo, appreciate you legends that hung out with us today. Daughter's name is Melina. Very nice name. Appreciate everybody that's watching over on YouTube, Kick, Twitch, and Facebook. The itty-bitty kitty is starting to stir over here. I'm going to get wrapped up right there and get the cat sorted, myself sorted, and get tomorrow set up. Don't forget to join us for tomorrow. We're going to be doing our uh, drawings for our contest for the PlayStation and the Mortal Kombat jacket. Don't worry, no, I'm going to check that out. Remo, everybody over on YT, over, everybody over on Twitch, everybody on Kick, everybody on Facebook, appreciate you. As I get ready to go, remember, my friends, I say this every stream, but I do mean it from the bottom of my heart. We're on this thing called life together, so please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be good to one another. Head out there in the realm, spread some love and positivity, do some great things. Head locked, heading out for now, but as always, I will see you on the next stream. The dip switches relapse uh, actually would allow you to turn the volume up in the game, and you can turn things down. You can turn on, like, free play where you don't have to put quarters in and stuff like that. So that's what I was trying to get into. But, yo, GGs, much love, my friends. Group hug. <clears throat> love each and every one of you, and I will see you legends on tomorrow on the next Mortal Kombat show. I locked out. Peace.